Looking for a super offer on Super Bowl 58? DraftKings Sportsbook have you covered. New customers can bet on the big game and turn five bucks into 200 instantly in bonus bets. Download DraftKings Sportsbook app now and use code Shannon. New customers can bet five bucks and get 200 instantly in bonus bets. Only on DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of Super Bowl 58 with code Shannon. The crown is yours. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Oh, yeah, we're good. Yeah. You on the right. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I love you. I said I love you. The fuck? I'm over here. Damn, bro. Why you way over there? My bad. My bad. Yeah. I can smoke in here? Yeah, I guess so. I, I mean, can, I, I don't own the place. I can smoke? <laughs> thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for coming. We really, really appreciate it. We thank all the support that you've given us over five months and four months of being on YouTube. So first of all, Ocho, Nightcap staff, we want to thank you for all your support. So thank you. Give yourself a round of applause. I, 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 normally have, I normally have what I'm going to say written in the monitor, so I'm going to try to wing it. Welcome to another episode of Nightcap. I am your favorite unk, Shannon Sharp. He's your favorite number 85, route runner extraordinaire, pizza on cloud, Bengals ring of fame, a three-time three all-pro, six-time pro bowler. He's the, well, how should I say it? He's Mr. Rail. <laughs> Chad Ocho Cinco Johnson. Let's go. For, yo, that, for those people that are home that's watching us live, thank you again for joining us. Uh, we're at 998,000 subs. We're almost at a million. And I, we're going to hit that million tonight. We're yeah. going to celebrate. We're going to drink. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to drink some of this cognac. Like T-Fain like said, we're going to pour you a drink. Some of this cognac. Please make sure y'all subscribe to the podcast feed through Nightcap. You can also get it through Club Shay Shay. But Nightcap has its own podcast feed, so thank you. Make sure you do that. We've also pinned Shay by Laportier at the top of the chat. Please, the Super Bowl party is what? Three days away. You got Valentine's Day. You got St. Patrick's Day. And I'm sure some of you guys out there have birthdays. So please make sure you go out and get yourself a bottle for you or that someone special. Ladies, get your man a bottle of Shay. You will thank me later. And he'll thank you shortly after that. So thank you for joining us. Ocho, we're going to get right into it. Not going to waste any more time. Wait, wait. We ain't even asked people how they feeling. Okay, go ahead. You take it over there. Hey, how y'all feeling this week? Yeah. Who we got? Who y'all going for Sunday? Chief fans? Forty nine er fans? 40. All right, all right, if you're a gambling man, bet on the Chiefs, 38-28. <laughs> well, you made some wages. We're going to get into that a little later. You made some wages of some things that you're going to give up, yeah. which I don't believe you can give up any of those things for like two days, let alone for a whole year. But <laughs> we'll talk about that a little later. You finally made your appearance on first take. How you pull that, how you pull that off? I just, I just showed up. Hey, can y'all... You know what? I've been begging to go on first take for about three, four months. About three, four months? Yes. Something like that? Yes. Can y'all please give Shannon a round of applause for letting his little brother come on first take, please? <laughs> and all, all, I needed, all I needed was to get my foot in the door. To get my foot in the door because I know he had no idea what Ocho would show up, but I know how to conduct myself. Because yes. that, that is Disney. That's Disney. That's yeah, Disney. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. I know I, you can't curse. Mm -mm. You know, and I'm, I'm, good, mm -mm. I'm not going to embarrass you. Yeah, I appreciate that. I'm not going to embarrass us. And I enjoyed it. So that's like the first step. The next step is getting me on there part time. Right. Right. So I'm, I'm working my way in the door. I got one, so you want, I got you one want, foot in. You want to be a contributor? No, 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 no. I'm trying, I'm trying to, like, it's like three amigos, me, you, and, and Stephen A can, like, take this shit over. Yeah, oh, okay. I'm telling you. The rating's going, like, just. You see, I'm, so in other words, you see, I'm on two days, right? Right. So how do you feel that you're going to come on and get five days and I got no, two? No, I don't want to be two days. That's why I say you want to be a contributor. Yeah. 
one day, one day, one day. That's what one a contributor day. is. Okay. Okay, two. <laughs> okay. That's still what a contributor is. Okay. This I want long my foot in the door. So, so, so what do you think? I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. I was, I wasn't nervous because you know I'm used to talking. Um, questions were good. Obviously, it was it was very comfortable for me. Right. Um, one of the problems that I probably would have is it was easy just to talk football. I didn't have to be critical and analytical of anybody. Right. Now that's something that I need to work on. Something that you and Stephen A are really good at. And I, I really hate chastising players. You, you know how I am. You get on to me all the time. So if there's something that I want to do, I would have to get better in that area. As far as talking X's and O's, talking football, talking players, I'm, I'm set. You're good on that. I'm good on that. Now I'm just trying to figure how you feel, how you fool the media. I mean, the media is so gullible. Right. You tweeted out something yesterday that yeah. you had signed with that you were going to be a coach for the Raiders. I am. And they bought it hook, line, and sinker. Yeah. Oh. You losing me? Yeah. That's what she said. <laughs> so, how, how did you how did you pull, So how did you become a, a, a Raiders coach? So what position are you coaching? I'm I'm interim coach. You interim coach. I'm an interim coach. What what position? Um, assistant wide receiver, head coach to the head coach. Oh, okay. Yeah. So Marvin is the assistant head coach. Right, right. AP is the head coach. Right. So you're the assistant to Marvin. I'm the assistant to the assistant of the head coach of the receiver coach. Oh, oh. Yeah. So, so a I newly created position. A newly, yeah, they do that all the time. They do that all the time. Yeah, it's called a buddy system. Mm -hmm. Buddy system. Yeah. So I had dinner with Antonio Pierce and some, some other folks. Right. Some other folks. And right. I talked to Antonio and I asked him, like, listen, I have 38 jobs right now. Mm -hmm. and I'm looking to diversify my portfolio, right. build my resume, and will help me get other jobs based on what I'm doing. So being a part of your staff would only further help me get where I'm trying to go. Mm -hmm. And he said, no problem. So I tweeted out a picture with me and Antonio Pierce, and I said, I am finally got a position as a, as a coach with the Raiders. Right. And he tweeted right behind me and said, I can't wait to have you coaching up 17, and that's Devontae Adams. So because he retweeted it and basically made it true, I'm a coach. Now, we haven't talked logistics and money and all that, yeah, but yeah, we're getting talk, I mean, yeah, we're how do you take a job and not understand finance? They might pay you a dollar a day. Listen, that dollar is going to be worth it. Opportunity. As long okay. as I get my foot in the door. Like today, I was on first take. I right. ain't worried about no money. Well, Once I, I was, get my foot in the door, I'm good. How about this? I was worried about you saying something crazy because, like you say, you had your foot in the door. Yeah. I was going to shut the door on your foot if you no, said no, something No, 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 no. I ain't going to do that. I ain't gonna, listen, there's one thing about it. Like, you consider me your little brother. If you give me an opportunity, I'm not going to embarrass you. No, I, do, I think the only reason you, you wasn't trying to, it wasn't me I was worried about. Uh -huh. It was Rail. Right. See, Rail was there, you wasn't going to embarrass Rail. Yeah, that too. See, if Rail ain't there, because see, like, sometimes when Rail in the bed sleeping, yeah. you and I be talking about still Rail or nobody. Yes, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my bad, my bad. Yeah, don't she say here don't somewhere. Where, where Rail at? Where Rail she at? here somewhere. Yeah, there she go. Where, where she I at? Was just play, I just play at Rail. She ain't got no seat in the front. Rail, you don't have a seat? Hold on. Oh, uh, no. I mean, maybe for, uh, maybe like the last 10, 15 minutes of the show, Rail, you can sit over there on the couch. You, you, can, join, you can join us up on, 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 the, on the stage. So check this out, Ocho. Yeah. You said you were so confident yes, sir. that the Chiefs are going to win this game. Absolutely. You said if they don't win, right. you'll give up eating McDonald's for one year. That's easy. You will divorce Rail. That's true. And give up sex for the rest of the year. I got a hand. You got a hand? What? How many, what you got? How many cards you got? Huh? Play spades? No, I ain't playing spades. I'm just saying I got a hand. I don't believe you giving up any of that. First of all, I think, actually, I think the hardest thing for you to give up right. would be McDonald's. I can do it. You can't. I can do it. You cannot. And look, it's something I have is called discipline. Discipline, and that's the, the best trait, the best asset I do have. So if I had to give up McDonald's. Listen, for one, the Chiefs not losing. Let's, let's start there. Right. I know. I've seen, it, I've, I've seen the script. Ash, put it in the poll. How many people believe Ocho could give up McDonald's for one year? Put it in the poll. We're going to put a poll. Okay, forget McDonald's. What about sex? I believe you have a better chance of giving up sex than McDonald's. That's how I know you don't know me. Rail. You addicted to both of them. No, no. Watch this. Rail. I, I made her wait two years before she even got none. 
I, I promise, I made her wait two years. That's my point. Right. You ever waited two years before you ate McDonald's? No, but. Exactly. But, I, but we, it was three things. It was three different things. No, you got to give up. Hold on. You said you'll give up eating McDonald's, and, divorce and I'll give up sex, and give up sex for the rest and that, of the year. That's three you, things. Right, but I've done all three before. Not in the same year. Actually, it was. Man, you ain't gone three I'm days without eating you, McDonald's. Man, I'm telling you. What's I'm the longest you've ever gone without McDonald's? For real? No, for play. Yeah, like, yeah for real. I, I, I tried to be Muslim once. Mm -hmm. So I was, I, was, I was Muslim. I was reading the Quran. For they have fish filet at McDonald's. I know, no. French but, fries. No, 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 no. Milkshakes. I, I couldn't. I had to. I had to change my diet because I was Muslim I, for like six Muslims months. Muslims eat fish, not that kind of fish. What you mean with that kind of fish? No, Muslims eat salmon. They eat fish. That ain't what Farrakhan told me. I'm, I'm telling you, I did it for six months, but I couldn't take it. I couldn't take it no more. So hold on, you couldn't take that, but you're gonna take giving up McDonald's for a whole year. You couldn't take this that. Is, this you, is you, you couldn't do that for a year, you but you're gonna give up sex. The Chiefs are not losing. And the fact that you even betting against Patrick Mahomes is asinine. You better give Patrick Mahomes against the Ravens, remember? No, that's because I believe in Lamar. <laughs> and that's because it's home team. You know, Lamar from down the street in Pompano. So I'm like, you know, I'm, I'm a roof for home team, but I had a, my heart was with Lamar. Logically, I was with the Chiefs. Well, you should have said that. You should have said, my heart is with Lamar. I didn't want to say that. I wanted uh -huh. to say it how I said it. <laughs> and you were wrong. At and times, you're going to be wrong with this. Oh, let's bet. Put your money where your mouth Ray, is. Ray, what do you think you could give up? McDonald's. You think thank, you give up McDonald's? Thank you. Ah, uh, damn, real. You in trouble then. <laughs> <'Cause> they, <laughs> I'm telling you, I could do it. I could do it. I don't believe it, Ocho. I just said I don't believe You it. didn't believe I could go on first take and do what I did. You already had to be on did. first take, Ocho. That was 10 years ago. But you were on first take. Nah, I'm on that now, though. Oh, Lord. I'm on that now. I'm a foot in the door. That's all I needed. NFL honors. We have some awards passed out. Lamar Jackson was the MVP. Christian McCaffrey, go ahead and applaud. Yeah. Christian McCaffrey was Offensive Player of the Year. Yeah. Miles Garrett won Defensive Player of the Year. C.J. Stroud, the Houston Texan, was Offensive Rookie of the Year. Will Anderson Jr., Defensive Rookie of the Year, mm. also from the Texans. The Coach of the Year was Kevin Stefanski. Mm. And Comeback Player of the Year was Joe Flacco. Of all the awards, what's your biggest surprise? Um, biggest surprise, Joe Flacco. Comeback player Joe of Flacco. the year. Yeah, comeback player of the year. Obviously, Joe, he came in in replace of injured Deshaun Watson. He only so, came back from being old. It wasn't nothing wrong with it. That too. He came back. He played good football. He played good football. He made the, the Cleveland Browns look different and look different. But all year long, I kept hearing DeMar Hamlin. Yes. DeMar Hamlin. DeMar Hamlin. And, you know, there were some games where he didn't play, but I just thought comeback player of the year would, be, would have been him, someone that almost passed away. The man away, almost died. Almost died. So being able to even, even play this just year. Just to put a helmet on. Law, put a helmet on. He should have won comeback player of the year. Yeah. Uh, for me, I'm going to go Kevin Stefanski. What? Because the Cleveland Browns were picked to make, be a playoff team, right. even though uh, Deshaun went out and they played wow. with probably three or four quarterbacks. Right. But what D'Amico Ryan did with the, with the, Durant, with the Houston Texans, right, right. a rookie head coach, a rookie, rookie. quarterback, right. win 10 games, win the division, mm -hmm. for me, I, I think that's the biggest surprise. And a surprise. playoff game. And, a, and won a playoff, playoff game, game, absolutely. If you want to say defensive play, I was a little surprised that Miles Garrett, can finish, he, uh, considering he finished seventh in sacks, right. I thought probably T.J. Watt mm -hmm. because okay. he's the first player to lead the league in sacks three times. three times. Yeah, but I think there might have been some other factors and other variables that they considered when it came to picking the defensive player of the year. I don't know what they are. Obviously, I'm sure it's more than just obviously sack total, right. which is why he won it. Right. Yeah, uh, the, uh, the def uh, Cleveland's defense, I think defense, uh, defensive efficiency, mm. they were number one. But right. Miles had an outstanding year. Congratulations yeah. to all the guys that won. Mm. Um, it's a huge honor. Lamar Jackson, a two-time league MVP, a two-time Pro Bowl, uh, all-pro player, three-time Pro Bowl player, and he's only 27 right. years of age. I have a question. Are you going to hold Lamar Jackson to an even higher standard Absolutely. now that he's a two-time MVP? Absolutely. Absolutely. And okay. everybody should. You can't say this. 
you have now, really, you have to hold him to the standards that you hold a Patrick Mahomes, right. that you hold a Aaron Rodgers, that you held a Tom Brady, right. a, a, a Peyton Manning, those guys. Because right. they're not very many guys that can say, I have two MVPs. Right. He has two. He's led the league in passing. He's been an all-pro. So why should we hold him to any different standard? Then we held the all-time greats okay. because that's what he's that's the class that he's in now currently, Ocho. Okay. okay, I got you. I'm just curious. I'm just making a show, so I'll be ready for No, the show. question is, it's not whether I'm going to. Right. The question is whether are you going to. Yeah, of course I'm going to, but a quarterback is only good as a supporting cast. So as long as those Here pieces we go. around see, we I'm, do I'm it just now. telling you. You see we're doing that? You see, yeah, we already no, no, started no, no. it. I'm, I'm just saying, a quarter, I'm, it is true. A, a quarterback is only good as supporting cast. Look at so the who had the better supporting cast? The better supporting cast. Lamar Jackson or Patrick Mahomes? Patrick, Mah Patrick Mahomes. So you, that's not what you said. That's not what you said on Nightcap. For real? You said, oh, no, offensively. You, oh, you forget? What about Zay Flowers and Bateman Zay, oh, and that Likely boy, nice. and that running nice. game and that but offensive again, line? We talk, we talk about Patrick Mahomes. We can't, you, not, you definitely cannot I compare we was, two quarterbacks. I thought we was holding Lamar to the same standard we holding Patrick Mahomes. We are. We are. He just wasn't able to come to shortcomings. I just ask you a simple question. Okay. And see, now you're waffling already. I'm not. I got so you. you're not going to hold Lamar to that same standard. I am. I'm holding him to the same standard. Can we start that next year? When the next season starts. He had I'm that a, talent this year. We knew he was going to win the MVP going right. into that game. Did we not? You said he's going to be the MVP. Why did they lose a the game? Huh? Why did they lose a the playoff game? Lamar didn't play well. And it's okay to say that. Okay. Did he play well? He had some mistakes. He had, he had some mistakes. I'm just saying, he had some mistakes. Did he play well? He didn't play well, but there was some That's other, all you have wait, to say. Let me finish. Okay. There were some other factors that went into them losing that game. There okay. was a fumble. Who fumbled there, the there ball? There was a strip sack. Who fumbled? Who did that? Zay, trying to cross, cross okay. the line. Okay, who had there that strip a, sack? Uh, left tackle got beat. Who had the ball? He, he held the ball a little bit too long. Okay. Okay, the interception and the triple coverage, who threw that one? To likely, he, he threw that. Who, who is he? I don't know who he is. Lamar. Okay, well, who lost the ball in the strip sack? The left tackle's fault. No, oh, now we... It's the left tackle. It's, hey, listen, we can't blame it on one person. For one, the play call was bad. We did with Dak. When the Cowboys lose, we blame Dak. When Buffalo lose, we blame Josh Allen. But now, every t I noticed this with you and a lot of fans out there, yeah. that every time the Ravens lose, we blame everybody else except Lamar. Now, actually, when any team loses, I... I place the blame on everybody that's responsible for it. Well, who gets the most of the credit when they win? Everybody or the quarterback? The head coach. The head, don't do that. The head coach. Don't do that. You don't think so? Don't do that. You don't think? I'm just asking. When a team wins, who gets the credit? The head coach. The quarterback gets the credit. All right. Why you do that? I'm just telling you. From what I saw, from what I see on TV, when teams win, they talk about the quarterback, but it's also the head coach and what he's done for the team. Really? The Houston Texans. Yeah. CJ Stroud had a great year. Who gets all the credit? CJ Stroud. Miko Ryans. CJ. All right. Maybe you know you, are, you, you watching a different different You TV. know first of all, without a quarterback, it doesn't matter who the quarterback coach okay, coach Belichick. How much credit did he get this year? Who? If it's all about if it's all about the head coach, if Belichick got six championships. Yeah. Okay, so why why didn't he win this year? He didn't have a quarterback. <laughs> he didn't have a quarterback. He didn't have a quarterback. But you just said it's the head coach. I you, I got you, let me ask you a question. Ask me one. If you got a car, right? Yes. But she ain't got no goddamn steering wheel, where you going? <laughs> if you got a car, but you ain't got no motherfucking steering wheel, where you going? What kind of car I'm driving? It don't, come on, man. <laughs> come on, man. If you, I got you, a smart car, I can go anywhere I want to because I'm using my feet anyway. Don't do that. Oh, my don't bad. Do I, you don't got a smart that. car. Don't my bad. My don't bad, Ocho. No, nah, but my, you, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. You know what I'm saying. You're not... It's a, I hate the fact that quarterbacks, quarterbacks obviously get held to a different standard. Yes. It's not fair because, again, a quarterback is only good as a supporting cast. Can I Some quarterbacks are really great, and they can overcome having a lack of talent around them. Right. One of those being Patrick Mahomes. They were fucking sh Oh, my, I'm sorry. I curse. My bad. They were, they were horrible all year. Yes. The receivers led the NFL in drops. Yes. What happened? Patrick Mahomes found, found a way to overcome right. the lack of... He stopped of turning the ball over, too, because remember, in three playoff games, he doesn't have a turnover. Yeah. So he stopped turning the, the ball, ball over, over also. Yeah. So we can't just say the receivers were dropping the ball. Patrick Mahomes played at a level that we weren't accustomed to seeing him play at either, which was very poor. 
Now, we got to judge Patrick Mahomes on Patrick Mahomes. Right. Not against anybody else, because if you judge him against anybody else in the league, you're going to say, man, he had a pretty good season. Right. Very but right. when you judge him against Patrick Mahomes, mm -hmm. that's how you got to judge Lamar now. Right. You got to judge Lamar against Lamar Jackson. Not against some, not against other quarterbacks. Mm -hmm. You got to judge him as a two-time league MVP, a two-time all-pro all player. Right. Okay. I got you. I'm with you. We so, on the same page. Okay. We on the same page. Okay. I just want to make sure we on the same page in the same book, though. Yeah. Okay. Same book, okay. same page. Mahomes said Chiefs are okay being the villains. It's a price of winning. Mahomes says, I think just, just like winning, if you win a lot and that causes you to be a villain, then I'm okay with it. But at the end of the day, I'm going to enjoy playing the game and try to win it as much as possible. You agree with what he said? Absolutely. People hate, people hate consistency. People hate consistency when it comes to teams that you don't like and not a fan of, mm -hmm. and they constantly win all the time. The Patriots went through the same thing. Small example, I'm gonna just take boxing for instance. Right. Floyd. Yes. Everybody loved when Floyd was winning early in his career. Yes. But when he kept winning, yes. he became the villain. Yes. And then everybody paying in and tuning in to see him lose. Right. That's it. Yes. He became the villain, not that he wanted to, but it's the fact that he kept winning consistently. consistently. Now the Chiefs are in the same boat. Yes, that's how it happens, because we love Tom Brady. Oh, oh. Hey, what's up, bro? Yeah, come, no, no, no. Come on, have a seat. No, no, no. Have a seat. Have a seat. What did I do? I, no, 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 you you enjoyed it. I was just saying what's happening. So, okay, we ask everybody. I mean, we kind of 50-50, Chiefs, uh, 49ers. Who you like for the Super Bowl? Uh, I, I, you know what, man? Uh, you know, everybody always asks me who my favorite team is, and I, I've done a lot of halftime shows, so it's... Kind of whoever paying me for the week, but uh, <laughs> <at this, laughs> I mean, at this juncture, man, I, you know, I hate to base it off of my relationships, but I do know, I do know Taylor Swift personally, so I gotta, I gotta kind of go with the Chiefs. I gotta, I, you, you know, I, I don't want to, but it's, it's, you know, all that money in them boxes up there, <laughs> it's just you want to stick around the checks, you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> I just don't want to weigh my own, I outweigh my chances. But, right. you know, hey, man, good luck to everybody. But at the same time, only one of them done paid me so far. What happened? Uh. I'm going to ask you this. <laughs> there have been a lot of fans are uh, 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 upset. They say they show Taylor too much and not focus on what's going on the field. What do you think about that? Are they showing Taylor too much? I think they show celebrities the same amount. I think they show Jack Nicholson a lot. Uh, <laughs> they think, used to. I think they show uh, Spike Lee a lot. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Anybody that show up, I think they show Lil Wayne a lot. I think, you know, but you know, it's a, um, it's a white lady, so, you know, everybody goes, <laughs> gonna get noticed a little, a little easier. <laughs> so are you, are you doing, are you performing or are you in town for the Super Bowl? Well, uh, I, I'll start my residency tonight at Zook right there, right okay. next door, so. I was just coming to say what's up. I, I still ain't took a shower today, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Uh, so I wanna ask you this, <laughs> let me ask you this. I've heard you sing, and I've heard you sing songs and you didn't have auto tune. Mm -hmm. What made you decide to use auto tune when your voice is as good as anything we have? Uh, Cause if I would have came out singing, I would have just sounded like everybody else. Mm -hmm. No, you don't sound like everybody. It would have just been another voice. Right. You know what I mean? Right. So there's nothing special about it. Like there's people in this crowd that can sing that can out sing me right no, they're now. Not. I'm sure there is. Th th not in this. Cinco. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> <that>. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you heard that the new Toby and Toby and Seiko? Boy, that thing that ain't crazy. Nah, nah, but nah, I mean, I would've just been another voice, you know what I mean? Right. Especially, you know. In the rap game. Dark skin, dreads, wasn't a lot of space for me, you know what I mean? When I came out, <laughs> had to be light skin, low haircut, it was a yeah, lot going see? on. I had to be able to dance, I was fat. It was a lot going on. It was, <laughs> I had a lot going against me. Wasn't really working out for me, but right. no, nah, I, I made it through because there was something different about my voice, you know right. what I mean? So I, I needed something to break through the fog. I heard the other day you talking about how you wrote a lot of songs or you've been writing songs for country musicians, mm -hmm. and the credits was kind of getting you in trouble because you was getting some blowback, and you was like, man, F that, just cut me the check. Don't put my name in the credits. Yeah, no, nah, it, it wasn't really blowback. It was just like, 
I don't know what we can say on the show. <laughs> oh, no, you the good, comment, you good, the, you good. We rated the, R. The comments on there was just like... Was it the N-word? It was a lot of N-word. It was a lot of it. It was a bunch. That was what? primarily the, the word that I saw a lot. What? Anytime somebody said I had anything to do with this song, they were like, what's this nigga doing on this dog? Why you got anything to do with him? I thought you were a patriot. It was just a lot of that. It was just... <laughs> it was a lot. <laughs> but did the check clear? Oh, the check always oh, cool. cleared, and it cleared on time. That's the crazy yeah, yeah. thing. Country music is very punctual. Very punctual <laughs> with the checks. <laughs> <laughs> you deal with some of these, some of these darker companies. They yes. give you the ninety days. <laughs> nigga, 90 days. <laughs> the contract says ninety days. We're gonna send it in ninety one. Babe, do you remember when you were growing up and they ask you they post dated the check? Like don't, oh, absolutely. Don't, don't, nah, don't cast up. Don't I, cast I, this. I put a Friday on it. Don't you, you take just, your ass you to the just, bank on Thursday. You can just not cast this for me real quick. I'm going to come back on Tuesday. I'm going to let you know if you can cast it then, but probably don't do it then. If it's Wednesday, I'm going to just cut you another check. I'm going to come to pay you another one because I'm going to move <laughs> banks. You see, Bank of America, they they messing me up. See what I'm saying? So I'm going to move to Chase, and I'm going to come I'm gonna come write you a Chase one. If that don't work, I'm going to go to I'm gonna need you to go to Western Union and with Dixie, and then we can probably just make it work from there. Yeah, it don't work. It's just too many steps, too many steps. What you want to say? I want to have a sing-off. <laughs> I want to have a sing-off. I got to sing tonight. Sing off. I got to. You, you coming to Wait, the residency? I could. Matter of fact, let me perform with you. Come on up there. No, I'm serious. You I'm have the dead. shortest. You have the shortest residency in Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> that should hey. be one night only. With T Pain featuring Ocho. <laughs> no, 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 no. Listen, I moved the needle now. I can sing. If you want an example. Let Go ahead, know. hit a no rack. Go ahead, move the nigga. You gotta, you gotta take a shot. Hold on, hold on. Got me fucked up. <laughs> you gotta stand up, cause you know you, you gotta stand up to jet. The diaphragm <clears throat> and stuff. Ah. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. That what that was it. That was the. I'm so okay. in love with you. I know, I know one of those yeah. notes. <laughs> Whatever you want me to. One of those. That's is, it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Well, no, you got to do the. the I'll do no. right. To you, you. Just, sure. Yeah. I'll take that. What you think? What you think? I'll take that. That was uh, one to ten. One to ten. Be honest. Be honest. Cause my vocal coach ain't here. She in Miami. I will say this. On one to ten, that's a, it's a hot four. You did good. <laughs> I said a hot four. That's almost a five. I'm yeah. telling you, see, that's that's a good. That's good. It's hey, a hot four. I'm wait, telling you, you, you didn't. Did T-Pain gave you more than what I was gonna give you. What you gave me? <laughs> it wasn't on the scale that you put it in. One between one and ten. I needed to be lower than one. That's that's messed up. I need, a, I need a negative Listen, energy. You gave me something to work with. It's, it's, I got. See, I, I can I can throw a bunch of auto tune on that and make it go. make something happen. Huh? Ah, see? auto tune. I sound like a ten. Man, you, uh, <laughs> you can use auto tunes, cartoons, ain't enough tunes, Looney Tunes, ain't enough tunes to make that hey. voice sound good. T Bay, stop it's playing. See, I'm see. telling you, I didn't, I didn't heard a lot of real bad singers get turned into real good singers, but just, ah. just a little bit of engineering. They sound like him. I mean, a little bit worse actually. Oh, oh my God! Yeah. There some, we go. Some, some critically yeah. acclaimed artists. Thank you. Artists. I'm telling Thank you. you. Yeah, some of these, some of these artists, y'all think y'all. So auto tunes little, can do that? Oh man, let me tell you. That's why everybody thought I was. That's why everybody thought I was. I was fake. They didn't with know it. how talented you actually were yeah, because you had. Yeah, yeah. Now you got to be able to make it sound good. You got to sing in some kind of capacity to make it sound good. But with the right engineer and a bunch of money behind you, absolutely, you can. There yeah. we go. Well, he need an engineer from MIT, <laughs> <laughs> Georgia Tech. <laughs> I mean, both of y'all rich enough to do anything you want to. Oh, you no, can, no, you no, can no, sound, no, 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 no. I gotta stay. I gotta stay in my wheelhouse. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know you're hiding your finances from all these people. I'm, I'm here to tell <laughs> you. Nah, Ocho, Ocho, the cheap one. I, <laughs> I mean, I, I, I spend. Even though he was on a bombardier the other day. Nope, nope. I didn't pay for nothing. You didn't pay for nothing. I ain't pay for nothing. No sir. And I'm, they think I'm flying back with them. It ain't happening. You? T why not? Nah, absolutely. That was very uncomfortable. It just wasn't me. I <laughs> like, I like. Listen, I ain't even got fucking pre-check. <laughs> I ain't got pre people say you gotta you gotta figure that out. Listen, me and my old lady, we go to the airport. Uh -huh. She got pre-check. She say, why you get pre-check for what? What am I paying eighty five dollars for? And we get to the gate at the same time. We board at the same time. We land at the same time. I'll tell you, What's the point? It's eighty five dollars a year. No, you don't understand. <laughs> Listen, it's eighty five dollars a year. Do y'all understand? Y'all y'all understand what I'm saying? No, no. no. Listen, listen to me. 
If y'all got pre-check, right? Okay. We get to the airport at the same time. Okay. All y'all go through first. Okay. I go stand in line with the people. Uh -huh. <laughs> when they call the board, we still board at the same time. So where's the fucking convenience? You waited two hours and I was sitting in the Sky Club. But we still boarding at the same time. I don't we care, but I'm at the same time. Do we board at the same time? See, y'all ain't good with saving money, man. At the same time. No, it's, it don't you make no gonna sense. You still going to be in the line with the people. I'm going to be at the gate like, uh, he about to miss this. But you this at the <laughs> gate. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to have to, because I'm, I'm Sky one Club. Of, Cause I'm one of the ones I will leave. Y'all don't your understand. Ass. That's, oh yeah, for sure. <laughs> I will leave this yeah. nigga, man. Y'all don't, y'all don't, don't understand. Y'all don't, y'all don't understand. We do the value understand. We do dollar. understand. Cause you gonna come through. Cause you one of them people that be stuffing all your jewelry in one pocket in your backpack. And yeah. I know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah they, they gonna check that. That's it's so, gonna but, show up black on the screen at the TSA. They gonna but, check that. You not y'all not thinking logically. This your bag. I am. Is this your bag, sir? Sir, is this and your bag? First class. I'm going to have to run it again, yes. okay? All right. <laughs> yeah. All right. I'm going to need you to take all the stuff. Can you take all the electronics? <laughs> I see an iPad in here. You yeah. can't bring the iPad yeah. through, sir. <laughs> you cannot bring the iPad. If you got a keyboard on it, you got to take it out. Exactly. What's all this right here? Is that no. water? That's not water? Okay, I'm going to have to run it again, yeah. okay? And then they no. take all your shit out. Yeah. And then they run it again. And then they say, okay, thank but, you. Have a nice day. And, and all you your shit, back, yes. and all then, your shit still sprawled out yes, all over the goddamn exactly. table. Exactly. But Who I don't put that back. I don't travel like that. I don't travel like that. I'm at the I'm at the gate. I'm at the gate with an Apple Vision Pro on. You putting all your shit back in your bag. Right. You, <laughs> fly first class? You, fly, you fly first class? Yeah, yeah. You yeah. fly first class. Absolutely. All y'all fly first class. Mo yeah, most. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm just asking. Yeah, no, I, only, no, no, no. I only fly exit row. I only fly. You, you fly, fly first class. Exit row. 13A exit Spirit rows? Airlines. 13A Spirit Airlines every time. See, that's a that's a seat that's a seat with responsibilities. I ain't said that. That's a seat with yeah, responsibilities. Yeah, because if you're at the exit row, you got to be able to uh, Sir, open the doors. Sir, are you willing and able to help in, a, in, no. in the state of an emergency? Yes, and, fucking and no. I can fly, too. I got Bitch, my pilot's license. First of all, let me tell you, ma'am, I don't know how much this door weighs. You got to let me get a practice run or some shit before we take <laughs> off. I, got, I don't know how much this is. You like, I'm like, yeah, I can handle that shit as soon as we going down. I picked up. Oh, wait, bitch, hold on. This shit is. <laughs> nah. Hey, ma'am, I'm going to need about two of y'all. Hey, Go. somebody else. You ask somebody else. Does somebody else want to sit here? Somebody else. Is there a doctor no. in the goddamn no. plane? Bitch, I don't know. Y'all don't understand. Can't... Everybody love first class. Oh, I'm in first class. I'm in exit row. When the plane land, we still get off at the same fucking time. No, you don't. Yeah. No, you don't. No, you don't. You know why? Why? Because I'm getting off, and then it's that one old ass man that can't get his bag down. Right. <laughs> and your ass is stuck on the plane, and yes. I'm sitting at the gate again with an Apple Vision Pro on, like this nigga ain't even coming. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all don't understand, man. Yeah, we do. We do Y'all understand. understand. Yeah. This is why we do what yeah. we do. No. I mean, Ocho. First class is a waste of money. Ocho. Pre-check is a waste of money. Ocho. The we all get to the same destination at the same time. I get we get it. on the plane at the same I... time. We deplane at the same so time. So let me ask you a question. It make no let sense. Let me ask you a question. When you was growing up and you was thinking about making money and getting out, so what did you want to do? So me? you wanted to make money to stay the exact same? You don't dress the same you did when you was in Liberty City. I look just like this. No, you don't. Yes, oh, you, man. you have a Cuban? Yes. Man, stop lying. I had a Cuban <laughs> at 14. <laughs> Boy, you was poor in church mice. No. <laughs> Boy, you, a robber broke in your house in Liberty City. No, y'all no, robbed no, him. No, no, no. You tied him up and everything. I have a question. Did Y'all y'all saw Griselda? So who? Y'all saw Griselda. You ain't see Griselda? Yes. Yeah, no, no, no. That's pretty Man, good. I was that's a runner good. for Griselda back in 88. Oh, my God. Oh, oh so you boy. didn't even run track. I, I promise you. This man talking about a runner. He I didn't know, run track. I was, I was a runner. Run track. I don't know what's going on. He, she was, he, no, Griselda was in Kindle. I understand what's going on, yeah, but that I, don't no, mean you was a... I Big Ike. I'm uh, telling you. Baby. I can't... <laughs> baby, can't tell me. All I know is, baby, be dressing. Baby, <laughs> be spending that money. <laughs> so I don't know what you doing, but I know baby. Yeah. That's I it. Mean, listen, I'm, I'm here to tell my stories, and I'm just telling you the truth. I can sing. Ocho be sleeping in all his I don't like pre-check, and I don't need first class. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you don't sleep, spend the money real spending. Huh? She spent her own money. No, that she spent your money. Shit me. Well, that's why she said, hey, Ram, pre-dump, pre -dump. <laughs> Yeah. That's fine. So she can continue to spend her money. That's right. I ain't signing it. And you can't spend none of it. I'm not signing it. That's okay. Because if she <laughs> decides to leave me, signing. I'm leaving with something. You ain't leave with nothing. Leave what you came with. That's nah. it. The McDonald's coupons. You got to sign it. Take them all with you. You got to sign it. You got to sign it. You gotta R sign it. Well, you hear T Pain? You gotta sign it. You gotta sign it. It's like the Apple term, terms and conditions. You got you, what, what you gonna do? Not use it? Yeah, you gotta <laughs> sign it. You gotta, <laughs> that's what it is. It's you like insurance. Do. I ain't really trying to go out there and hit somebody, right. but if I do, I need to know it's taken care Absolutely. of. Absolutely. 
Rarely <laughs> saying she trying to divorce you, right. but right. just in case. She right. need all what she can. You need all. Need. The, you no. need. You need security. No. You need. Uh -huh. You need. You know. You need that. Happening. You need that insurance. It's not happening. I need security. Yep. The same lifestyle that well, she is doing. Well, no, no, no. It no. ain't go even. Listen, listen, listen. You gotta understand. The same lifestyle that she's provided me since she came into my life. I'm leaving with that. I don't. I, you got to understand. If we didn't have these lights up here, the people that's the color of us. The, the, if the, we had these lights, we'd be just teeth and eyes up here. You know what I mean? <laughs> you, we, gonna, we, we, got to, we got to have some kind of backup plan or something. This is, <laughs> it's, a, it's some lighter, some lighter hue people out here. They ain't got them problems. We got the problems. We can't be seen like that. We, gotta, we can't have tinted windows. You got, to, you got to have that insurance. You got to be ready to crash into something. Yeah. All right. You're right. You're right. You're right. I'm just protecting myself. I get it. So I get it. Tonight is your first night. Tonight is the first night. What so time? how long are you? How long are you here? I'm here. I'm here till I'm leaving Sunday. So you. So it's only like a, a one I'm or two I'm getting nights. out of here before y'all niggas go crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting out. So if they came, if the NFL, Jay Z, I think Jay Z is responsible for the mm -hmm, halftime mm -hmm. show. They came to T Pain and said, T Pain, we want you to do the halftime show. You Abs in? Absolutely. Absolutely. Why would I not do that? That was a. <laughs> That's a no is that, is that a dream? Is that a lifelong dream? It's not a lifelong dream because I figured out sometimes you got to pay to to perform at right. anything. I don't want to do that. Right. That's, I don't want I want to lose money coming to the Super Bowl. That's terrible. Now right. I come that here to make money. Sense. Unless I go push Usher off the stage or some shit, then I'll do that. That'd be cool as hell. I think that'll make that make some headlines. Trip Usher real quick. Get your ass off that motherfucking stage. <laughs> go ahead. We got it. I, I, I'm going to take a shower. Y'all niggas is up here. I'm good. Hot I'm good. hamburger lights and shit. I'm going to see y'all be good. Team, <laughs> team. Y'all be good. Appreciate you, bro. Love. I'm going to see you. I'll be over there after the show. Come, come perform. Come do a song or something. All right. I got All you. All right. Yeah, yeah. T, I sure hope you finish before he get done. <laughs> Lord, how Lord, hamburger. Why you do I'm, that? I'm sprung. Yeah. Oh, Joe, why you do that? What I do? That. That what? Oh, my goodness. What I did? Man, I thought there was a goat with a head in the fence the way you were sitting Come on, there. don't do Bro, that. You don't can't do that, hold that. no note. You know I can hold a note now. He said I'm a four. Scale of one to ten to four. A four is good. I ain't had no lessons in like seven years. You know, I, I used to lead the choir back in the day. Oh, Joe, you ain't sat foot in the church in 40 years. And you ain't but 43. Now, I'm 56, but I learned, I'm just saying, with my grandma, my grandma had me in church. I led the choir all the time. You don't even drive by a church. I do. The I, only church you've been to is church's I chicken. I used to lead the choir. You want to see? No, I do not. Near I, the cross. No, you no. ain't been near no cross. Right. <laughs> no river. Right. You ain't been near nothing. Why you do that? I know how to sing, man. I don't, man. I Everything, take my you know, you know what happened? Honestly, honestly, once I hit puberty, shit changed. That's yeah, what happened. that's what happens. Yes, yes. yes. Yeah. Shit changed. I mean, everything else changed except, you know. Bless his heart. <laughs> you know. The guy that's coming to the stage has been an all-pro. He's been a Super Bowl. Orlando. Brown Jr. Yes sir. yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Appreciate y'all, man. Who they, dog? Yeah. You already know, man. Appreciate y'all having yeah. me on. Oh, I appreciate you stopping by. Yeah, yeah. Your mm. former team yep. is in the Super Bowl again. Yeah, hell yeah. Um, what are your thoughts? What are you feeling? You're like, damn, I really left a great situation. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, honestly, I already knew that, though. You Did know, you? I, I, yeah, absolutely. I mean, I think... Oftentimes, man, especially in our, our position, our profession in the NFL, it's easy to put pleasure over business. And mm. man, the relationships that I built over there, the people that I knew, my coaches, my O-line coach, Pat, Trav, everything that they, bu they built and still building, uh, I knew what I was leaving. But uh, at the end of the day, man, I feel like I ended up in a great situation. And I mean, I definitely think the Chiefs gonna win the Super Bowl, you know, right. just cause that's what they do, man. Right. You know what I mean? So what, what happened? Because like, as you mentioned, you had a great situation. You got the best quarterback. You got a historically great tight end, an offense that's, that's yeah. flowing like a well-oiled machine. Yeah. It seems like there was a, a situation where you wanted X and they were willing to pay you like R S. Yeah, yeah. And that's, that's exactly kind of, you know, how it went, I would say. Um, you know, the thing about, the sport and the organizations, y'all were top dogs, y'all understand. 
is it's only so many that get the big plate. Right. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like it's a lot of it's a lot of guys at the table, but it's only three that's gonna really get that big plate. Get that big yeah, 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 to where you know you you live in how you live in and you got the respect and all that all that different stuff. So uh, I just felt like it was a situation, man, where my role uh, was somewhat, you know what I mean, minimized just because of where I where I am in my career. Go ahead, Ocho. The biggest threat to the Chiefs yep. in the AFC is our Bengals. Absolutely. The big, you heard that, huh? The mm -hmm. biggest threat to the Chiefs in the AFC is our yeah. Bengals with a healthy Joe Burrow. Yeah, everybody know that. What do you think about us next year yeah. when we get Joe back healthy? Do, are we, uh, we get T back? Is T, you think T Higgins coming back? Yeah, I think I'm, I I'm sure so. they're probably going to franchise him, right? Yeah, I imagine that's, that's probably how it go down. So with a healthy, with a healthy Joe, I think we are right back in contention, or probably in the playoffs, and we'll probably be in this position next year. Your yeah, thoughts? I agree, dog. Because I feel like, man, at the end of the day, um, a lot of our our losses, you know, not taking any credit away from my man Jake, you know, it came down to quarterback playing a few situations here yeah. and there. And I mean, Joe Burrow is is top two, top three quarterback in this league, right? And has proven that, you know what I'm saying? And uh, getting him back, man, our defense. And I think the best thing that we really have going is we got a strong front office, dog. Mm -hmm. Like they like they love the game. They know ball. They go get the guys that they want. And, you know, when you have that type of mindset up, up front, upstairs, mm -hmm. you know, in ownership and front office, I mean, dog, the sky's the limit. You yeah. know what I mean? And, and I think having, like you said, all them names you dropped off, bro, getting them back, like, that's important. And I think everybody, everybody know that in the league. Kansas City, too. What's the biggest difference? And I'm not talking about play, but what's the biggest difference? Because you played with Patrick Mahomes for a number of years. You only played one year with Joe Burrow. What is the biggest difference in the style of, like, leadership, what they're like in the huddle, what they're like in the locker room? Yeah. What is the biggest difference that you can share with us between those two guys? Yeah, um, man, Pat Mahomes is like a Michael Jordan-esque approach, mm -hmm. you know, where, hey, if, if you're not on, if you're not. A singular focus. Hey, if, you, if you're not on 10, yeah. hey. He he on your ass straight up. You know what I mean? Wait, if if Mahomes has that Michael Jordan type approach, then what would Joe be? Uh, in comparison to <laughs> Larry Bird. Like, who we Larry, okay, okay, yeah. okay. okay. Uh, I I feel like you know the thing about Pat man is he he always did a tremendous job and just like Joe, really any of the top quarterbacks getting the most out of their guys. I think right. John Elway. You know what I mean? He gonna get the most out of his guys. He gonna relate to everybody in the locker room. You know he mixed, so that helps a lot. Yes. And uh, you know I think I think uh, that's one thing to me that always stood out about Pat too was his work ethic. Man, he's such a hard worker. Mm -hmm. His attention to detail was crazy. How involved he is with that organization. How involved he is with the game plans on the weekly, the daily focus. The tra it's, it's it's special. And then you take you, I take you to my man Joe Shiesty. Joe Shiesty got it figured out. Joe Shiesty is different. And I think the thing that he's really mastered is timing. And he's so emotional, but you would never know that just seeing him. You know what I'm saying? You right. would never know that listening to his interviews or seeing him talk, but he's so emotional. He hitting his helmet after, the, after scrambling for a first down on right. third down. You know, I remember we lost to the Titans. Uh, Zach didn't even have to bring us up. It's Joe Burrow. You know what I mean? Letting the wow. team know that, hey, this is what we got to do. And spoke to the team before training camp and, and all those different things. Man, I, I admire that about Shiesty, man. It's just really his timing. Yeah. You already know. What? You was in Kansas City, and uh, obviously Eric Bieni was the offensive coordinator. Yep. Why do you feel EB hasn't got a, a job as a head coach? Yeah, it's really unfortunate, man, because, uh, you know, I, I hate to put it like this, but this is just the real. Uh, oftentimes, ownership, I think, ends up in a situation where they're looking for the guy that they can relate to. And they're looking for the guy that they feel comfortable with. And, you know, if you owned a business and you were hiring someone um, in that prime of a position, you're looking for that as well. And I think too often, man, EB has gotten caught in the wing of that. And in terms of how he is as a coach, his how approach. How is he as a coach? An amazing coach. But he's, but he's old school. You know what I mean? He's going to let you know. That's one of the problems. When, you, when you're wrong, he's going to let you know you're wrong, yeah. regardless of who you are. Absolutely. He's going to let you know. I've yep. seen him get into it yeah, with 15, 87. Mm -hmm. Coach Reed, you know what I mean? Wow. You know yeah. what I mean? So he, he the real deal, man. And, and, and that's what <laughs> I appreciated about him as a coach was, man, his focus, like that attention mm -hmm. to detail that he came with on a daily basis, the energy. Like that's, you know what I mean? I, I don't want to take too much credit away from players, but it was one of the things that kept the engine rolling. Yeah, see, that's one of the problems, though. 
Did you hear how you noticed? You noticed he said that old school playing style. Yeah. It's one of the reasons why I think personally that Bill Belichick doesn't have a head coaching job yeah. right now. No, because you have these younger players, yeah. younger generation, and that old school philosophy, that old that old school style is not going to resonate with these young boys. Not at all. So they're going to shut down. They're yeah. going to talk back. You, you, you know what I'm trying yeah. to say. Yeah. And I think that's yeah. why the NFL owners are going more towards younger coaches. Yeah that are players' coaches and can relate to the younger generation a little yeah, bit better. Yeah, you, you also got to think, too, a lot of times with these coaches, uh, some of their biggest fear is losing the quarterback guy, right. losing the QB coach, losing right. the offensive coordinator. Mm -hmm. So now what they're doing, they're going to hire that young QB mind, mm -hmm. knowing and sharing that up for long term mm -hmm. while going out and dealing with the rotation of a defensive coordinator right. or something like that. Right. So, you know, it's, it's weird how the game is going. But it seems to me, and uh, I know E.B. a little bit. I'm a, l a couple of years older than he is. Yeah. But it seems like he's big on accountability. Huge. There's a level yeah, of expectation that he has for every player. And he wants you to come with that singular focus every single day to get better. And then come game time, I expect you to be where you're supposed to be, do what you're supposed to do. And if you're not that, I'm going to be on you. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, you know, the standard in Kansas City is so high. The standard is so high. Mm -hmm. We finish every play up front. We, we finish with a burst. Yes. You know what I mean? Yes. And, and that's the standard as a Kansas City Chief. And so when you, when you have that kind of standard mixed with an old school approach like Coach E.B., you're going to get the most out of a lot of guys. Right. And that's why you see so many young men, I feel like, coming to there because of the structure, you know, how properly structured it is. It's, it's, you know, it's somewhat different from college, but very similar in terms of the structure, man. But, I mean, EB was just, uh, uh, that's, that's what he was. When you talk about standard, right? Yo. And I, thought, I think about the time I played with the Bengals 11 years, mm -hmm. and there's been a huge shift in culture, a huge shift in discipline, and we're – even me as a fan now, and even Bengal fans in Cincinnati, it's like no matter what happens, you already know you're gonna be in contention every single season, no matter what, as long as nine is in place. Yeah. What do you think is the reason for that shift in culture? Yeah, um, it starts up front, uh, I mean in the front office. Yeah. And when you have a front office that is bringing in the right guys, that is going out and finding the Joe Burrow personalities, mm -hmm. finding the T. Higgins, the Jamar Chases, you know, all those type of things are so important. And uh, it starts with, with ownership in front office, trickles on down to coaches, the standard that Zach sets, how he is. And then on top of that, uh, the players, man, it's on us as players, you know what I mean, to do our job at a high level week to week. Weber? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You almost there. Hey, we do. Hey. Yeah, you almost there now. Oh, hey, yeah, we yeah. almost there. Hey, oh, big old. We almost there. 999, yeah, 940. Yeah. 999, 940. Yeah. You follow. Ask you this question. Yeah. You watched. I'm sure you watched Chiefs and studied them. What, what was the biggest shift? Because you're talking about a team that was the most penalized offense. Their offensive line wasn't very good. They had Patrick Mahomes probably got sacked more than he had gotten sacked at any point in time. And then you see the 180 that happened in the playoffs. What do you think was the cause of that? Yeah, well, at times, man, I think, you know, sometimes as coaches, it's easy to get caught up in last year and our identity. Right. Last year's identity. You know what I mean? As an right. offensive play right. caller. And so I imagine, new like. New left tackle, new right tackle. tackle. It's it's chemistry. Because right. playing with Pat Mahomes, I had to learn to have an understanding for the feel of the game. I had to understand that he's taking this deep drop because of the way that he sees coverage. Right. 990. <laughs> oh! Oh, Joe! Oh, Joe! Oh, how much this means to us. When Ocho and I put this thing together, when I called Doug, he was his agent, and I said, Doug, I got this idea. It's your mic. Oh, I said, Doug, I got this idea. I called his agent. I said, Doug, I got an idea for a show. Me and Jamie Horowitz, Jamie's rolling <laughs> right here somewhere. And, and we, met, we met with Doug and, um, and Ocho. I said, Ocho, I got this idea. Mm -hmm. 
He said, I don't even want to hear no more about it. I'm with you, huh? Yeah. I, said, I said, let me tell you the idea. He said, no, we good. And so this thing has taken off and been better than we ever, ever imagined. Mm -hmm. And it's because of you. you. Yeah, Ocho and I, yeah. we tell stories. Yeah. Yeah, we played the game of football. We played it at a high level. But, and yeah, we tell very interesting stories. I mean, I probably told some stories I probably shouldn't have told. <laughs> I got a few more to tell, too. I, I'm sure I'm going to tell some tonight. But, but it's because of you. I mean, look at you guys that showed up. We want to mm. thank you for showing up. Yeah. We want to thank all of you guys that's in the live chat. So mm. we really, really appreciate it yeah. from the bottom of our heart. Yeah. Hey, listen, um, first off, Success on the field, right? Look at that. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey. Oh, we in the club, yeah. man. <laughs> yeah. I like it. Red tail. Yeah. But listen, from I think about success on the field. You know, Shannon was very successful. I was okay on the field. But without the fans, which I consider the meat and potatoes of success, we would be nothing. So when it comes to us doing Nightcap, I want y'all to give yourself a round of applause too for helping us reach this milestone, please. Um, I thank you. I really thank you from the bottom of my heart because obviously he tried to give me the idea and tell me what this was all about. I didn't want to hear it. I didn't want to care. I just wanted something to do. I like to fucking talk. I talk a lot. So listen, I had no idea it would come to this in such a short amount of time. And I thank y'all, I fucking love you, and I really appreciate you. And this is just the beginning, because we just started. We're only, what, three months? Three months in? We're four months. We hit 1,000 subs in exactly four months. Four months, man, that's, that's, that's dope, man. Thank y'all, man, I really appreciate it. Thank you so much, appreciate it. Special, man, that's special. No, no, I'm gonna get y'all, I wanna ask you this. Yo. Your dad, Orlando Senior, played for the Browns. Yep. And I, I remember hearing you talking. I mean, they had moved you to you were playing right tackle. Yeah. You say, but my dad envisioned me being a great left tackle. Yep. Mm -hmm. You weren't complacent, and you were you are a great right tackle. Oh yeah. But something in your soul, something in your psyche, just didn't sit right. You yeah. said dad would be happy for me, yeah. but he would be much more happy if I was on the left side doing what I'm doing. Why was that such a big deal for you yeah. to move to the left side? From the right. Yeah, it's it's uh it's somewhat of a long story, but we got time. Yeah, um, we got time. <laughs> uh, so my dad was an undrafted. He was a rookie minicamp invitee, right? Mm -hmm. And he ended up getting a invite to OTAs and minicamp and a training camp. And Bill Belichick puts him on IR as a rookie. Yes. And he's hiding him. And my dad's the bully guy. So he's coming from South Carolina State at HBCU. Yep. You know, he's 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 got it rough. Right. And so he he had to come in from the bottom and, and scratch and claw his way to the top. Right. You know, while also seeing guys like Jonathan Ogden be drafted in the first round. Right. Seeing guys like Orlando Pace play play really well at right. a high level Walter Jones and so growing up he always emphasized to me always spoke to me be a better man than I am okay. in every way shape form and fashion right. and don't 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 strive to uh, beat me set higher standards for right. yourself go get Walter Jones go get Jonathan Ogden go go see go go attain what they attain and so uh, man it's crazy man you know I get goosebumps uh, you know when I think about it a little emotional but um, when I was in Baltimore I, uh, it was it was so hard for me to leave that situation right. because that was home for me, you know. That was that was an organization that you know gave my family the opportunity, gave me the opportunity, man. Oh, is that? <laughs> That's tough. That's tough, man. But uh, gave me the opportunity, you know, to to be to be an offensive tackle in this league. Right. And you know taking you through the story and the transition, one of the first things that we talked about in my exit meeting as a rookie was, hey, we don't know they're playing at left tackle. We know we have Ronnie Stanley, but we see you fit as a left tackle here as well in the future. And it's, the, it's a business. I take everything with a grain of salt. You know what I mean? Right. But that was spoken about. Right. And so, um, you know, in due time, Ronnie Stanley has a unanimous all-pro year. I mean, lockdown, lock, net, flawless, right. flawless, yeah. flawless fifth year. And they extend him. Uh, the following year, he goes out there, he breaks his leg. Ah. I get the opportunity to be a left tackle. My mentor is in the crowd. Uh, I remember talking to him, and you know, something he said to me was, you know, your dad really would want you to maximize on this opportunity. Yes. And he would really want you to chase your dreams and aspirations. And in Baltimore, mm -hmm. I would have Orlando Brown Jr. Day at my elementary school because I'm from there. Yeah. Right. And they pull out a car from when I was seven years old. Um, and the note card says, where will you be 20 years from now? 
and I said I'll be, or 18 years from now, I said I'll be the starting left tackle for the Baltimore Ravens. Mm. And, you know, that for me in itself was such such a feat, man. It was so hard to leave that situation. Um, but, you know, I, I had to do what I had to do because, Correct. man, for me, it was, it was bigger than that. And the Baltimore Ravens organization, uh, talking on the phone with the owner, Steve Bashadi, Eric DaCosta, Ozzie Newsom, Coach Harbaugh, they all understood that, man. And uh, I can't believe they sent me to Kansas City. I, mean, yeah, I, I couldn't believe it, but the owner, Steve Bashadi, was like, man, you deserve this. You know, I don't want to see you nowhere in NFC North. I don't want to see you in a shit situation. I want to see you. I want to see you to the right place, man. So uh, forever, forever indebted, you know what I mean, to that to that organization. Thanks for stopping by, OB. Course, brother. Orlando Brown Jr., ladies Appreciate and gentlemen. You. Thank you. Thank you. Let me see. Yes, sir. We going to strip club tonight? Uh, no, 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 no. Not me, not me. <laughs> Money is in pocket. Appreciate that, O. <laughs> I'm ready to get drunk, man. Fuck okay, that. Oh, Joe, you ready? Hey, let's go get this shot in, Ocho. Let's go to get this shot in, Ocho. Let me see that, that cognac. Yeah. Just close up, just close up, Ocho. Yeah. Ocho, you, it's a sip drink. Don't take it to the head now. Oh, trust me, I'm not. Oh, Joe. That shit's strong, bro. Boy, it's, it's up. Yeah. But see, that's what you do. Do you smell those marshmallows? Do you smell that? Ooh, that scent. Yeah, it's strong. Yeah. No, no, no. But see, that's the thing. That's what I'm talking about, Ocho. Yeah. Well, you in trouble tonight, Ray. I'm sorry. That's it? Yeah, we're going to sip throughout. We're going to sip throughout, Ocho. Hey, it burned it burn my arm. Um... You good, man? Ocho, can you believe this, Ocho? Yeah, that, that's crazy. That's crazy. In four, Again, in, in four months, four I, months to the day, we started crazy. a YouTube channel on October the 8th. 2023, and here we are. That's crazy. And a lot of it's, it's trickled over. I mean, guys, before before <laughs> Nightcap, I'm sure a lot of you guys have supported me with Club Shay Shay. And you rock with me when, I mean, we started out Club Shay Shay, we had like 50, uh, 50 subs, and then we had 1,000 subs, and then we had 2,000 subs, and then we had 10,000, 50,000. And my producer, uh, CJ, is floating around here somewhere. And he said, he say, hey, just give it time. <clears throat> just keep, if we keep doing great content, people will appreciate it. Yeah. And they'll subscribe. And guys, I try to give you the best. I try to give you people mm -hmm. that I would want to hear, that I would want to listen to. And I would want to hear what they have to say. Yeah. And I would want to hear their stories. And, uh, and, over, and look, I've had some of the greats. Uh, Steve Harvey has, has graced me. Uh, obviously, the Cat Williams has gotten a lot of pub. Cat was great. We're running Monique right now. I, I don't know if you've seen Monique. That was she, great. She's unbelievable. And so I want to thank all my guests that's, that's come on and, and, and helped Club Shay Shay grow. And, guys, the way you've helped us grow big Nightcap. Big time. Big time. Thank you. Man, I, mean, thank I, you. I, I can't believe thank it. You. Can you believe how fast and how big we've gotten so quick? Yeah. That, I, I didn't think it was possible. You know, people had to explain to me. Obviously, I don't know. I didn't know anything about YouTube. Yeah. So people had to explain to me. My, my daughter had to explain it. Real had to explain it. How fast and how much it meant to have to get this many subscribers in such a short amount of time. Right. It's dope. This is dope. Again, thank you, man. Can y'all give yourself a round of applause one more time, another please? Round. Please. Thank you. Thank you. We got, another, we got another guy in the audience that wants to come up. Channing Crowder. Channing, come on up, bro. Oh, shit. <laughs> What's up, boy? Hey, matter of fact. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, hey. What you want to talk about? Hey, hey. <laughs> What's up, boy? Hey, y'all good? Matter of fact, well, you know, right, the, yeah, right. Matter of fact, the first thing you could tell him, right? <coughs> tell him how I felt about flying private. Like all bullshit aside. Oh, yeah. They, they he was hot. Him. He was hot about the private jet. He wasn't that hot. Guess what? He ain't put a, get his ass on spirit, did he? Oh, that motherfucker's in the back sleep, exactly. too. Feeling good, exactly. too. Exactly. Hey, exactly. Nah, I got a picture of you. He was yeah. so hot, he walked his ass right up the steps and got on that plane. He, he talking about, nah, chief. Nah, chief. He enjoyed that when that lady brought them damn drinks. 
What drink? Your Coke and all that, all that crazy shit. Yeah. Y'all cuss? Yeah. Y'all cuss here? No, no, but, huh? Y'all don't cuss? Oh, yeah, we open, nigga. I curse. Y'all cuss? Okay. Yeah. All that weird shit he do. Hey, that McDonald's shit, that shit is real. <laughs> Swear to God, I thought it was bullshit. That, that McDonald's shit, that motherfucker <laughs> eat McDonald's seven times a day. It's crazy. <laughs> At NFL film, we shooting the show. The whole spread. Chili, but, goddamn tacos, they got all kind of shit, and they bring this nigga a big ass box of McDonald's. You gotta yeah. be ashamed of yourself. Huh? Eat like a 12 year old kid. 12 Eat year like old. a child. I'm saving money. Fuck y'all. You not paying for it. Huh? NFL oh, no. Pim's paying for hey, it. Hey, no. Listen, let, let's stay on topic. Did I like the private jet or not? Be honest. You, you enjoyed it. Did I? Come on now. He, he you reluctantly you enjoyed you it. You could have flew spirit. Spirit, I couldn't. Why you what couldn't? did y'all tell me? Come no, on, no, 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 I did. We did have to convince him. Hold Thank on. you. Hold we on. had to convince him. I've been trying to convince you you need to spend money. I can't convince you. Can't you tell me? Me nor the chat can convince Ocho Cinco to do anything he don't want to do. I ain't spent no money yet. Exactly. But you could have spent $85 and got on Spirit. I had a flight already. No, you. I, no, I had a flight to come to Vegas. Yes. They bombarded me and said, why don't you be a they team player? You. A team so they, player. So they no. did you like Mr. T. Y'all remember uh, the A-team? How do you used to have to drug Mr. T to get him on the plane? They ain't drug you. No, 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 they no. didn't drug nothing. No, you got they, your ass no, on that plane. They gave me a speech. We're a team. We just finished filming. We're all flying together. The producer came as well. So they, they preached to we me. Had, I was like, we, you know what? Forget it. I'm going to come. We I wasn't the, happy about it. I was very uncomfortable. It was, it was the third in command of NFL Films, the producer, Chris Long, RC, Ryan Clark, uh, me, Ocho, and then Chris Long brought a bunch of people with him. And we had to tell him, we like, bro, we flying together. Why would you get on a different plane when we already headed that way? You might well jump on. He got on there. He reluctantly did, though, I ain't gonna lie. Reluctantly. Dumbest thing in the world. I jumped on that bitch so fast. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, did y'all see this, uh, uh, this, uh, Drake video going viral when he was playing with his, he was playing with his meat. How stuff like that? How stuff like that get out? I ain't. They, they trying to show out. That. And to be honest, to what be what honest, happened? Drake was showing out. Yeah. Now he was doing it for the light skinned fellas. They that shit. So that, that I guess they've been lying all the time. Don't, I don't know. You see, that's what the one thing y'all y'all dark dudes think that us y'all light skins ain't got nothing to throw. We throw. <laughs> we can throw too. <laughs> y'all ain't. <laughs> I, I guess all y'all dogs think hey, y'all got whoa, it. Whoa, we got whoa, some whoa, shit, too. Hold on, man. What that? Y'all talking, I don't even know, understand the context. You, you ain't seen about. Drake. Drake got a video circulating. Yeah. Uh, he put the baby arm out. He, oh, bro, he man. dropped. He I dropped. don't know how, but I don't know how, how stuff like that get out. I don't know. Like, I don't you don't know, know how it get out. Got a, maybe he got yeah, an album. Maybe he got an album coming out. Maybe he got no, no, no. If, if it, if, I think it is strategic, but how does it get out? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Accidentally? Yes. Because he's sending it to a girl. But you, and you, she dropped it. It's sex pics. Sexting. Oh, okay. Oh, I, I, I watch y'all show. I ain't gonna lie. I watch Nightcap. Y'all yeah. motherfuckers yeah. retarded. <laughs> but don't, don't we use can't even say that no more. Yeah, yeah. y'all yeah. weird. Y'all yeah. are funny. I yeah. would say that. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, man. Ocho, yeah, Ocho had two recesses, two lunches, and he stayed in the same class the whole day. <laughs> <laughs> Ocho had that little bitty bus with yeah. the tin windows. <laughs> two seats. Hey. It, was, it was him and the driver. That's it. We, 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 we're talking about. Hey, I had a full point. Come on, no, no. Chad. Get on, Chad. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. You didn't get grades. You got stars and cookies. That's so, how they grade. <laughs> that's how they grade it. But yeah, that's what that's what it is. It's called sexting. It's texting with yeah, sexual yeah, videos. But, if that, if, but that's that's like revenge porn. You can't do that. You can get sued. They oh, so that's care. probably what? that's probably no. what. Maybe that's why it's strategic. Because if, if you know who did it, you know who you send stuff to, and it gets out, then you can sue them. But hold on. What I look like suing somebody that got, that, that got, got $400? What you going to sue them for? Right. Yeah, sue, that, take, that that like, take that little bit they got. They got to learn. You going to sue them for 300 and it's I gonna need, cost, I it's need, gonna I cost, need. it's gonna cost, I mean, uh, 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 an attorney that Drake's gonna get, it's gonna probably cost him like 1500 to $2,000 an hour. What? So by the time what? you take it to court, you're looking at $150,000, $200,000. Yeah, get $400. Some, sometimes it's just principal alone. Sometimes people have to learn. Nah, a that's lesson. who over the school system, a principal. Nah, I ain't about no principal. I ain't spending no 200000 <laughs> I ain't spending a quarter of a million to get $400. I mean, so if somebody leak your baby on, what you gonna do? No, I ain't gonna send it to him. <laughs> you have to see it in person. <laughs> <laughs> That's just me. Uh, <laughs> Shady, you said you, you, you got yeah, one for him. Yeah, you got, you got to see it. Because, you know, look, they ain't gonna say, oh, what you think I'm gonna do? I don't know. 
I know what you won't do like when we cool. Right. Yeah. You but get mad you, at me, ain't no yeah, telling yeah, what yeah, you yeah, might yeah, do. Yeah, ain't no telling. So, oh no. Yeah, I ain't never done the I ain't never done like nothing like yeah. that. Yeah, I don't know. No, I mean if like OnlyFans came to me for a hundred million, you going? I would drop the baby off on the table. A hundred million? A hundred million? A hundred million. A hundred million? A hundred million. How much you need? Man, let somebody, let somebody, somebody pull out 20,000 right now. <laughs> <laughs> you got it. Yeah. I mean, I mean, <laughs> 20, only, 20, only, fa only fans offer the Snoop Dogg a hundred million. Just to see the meat? Yeah, just okay. to look at your meat? Right, 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 right. right. That ain't right. nobody. Yeah. But what you, a hundred million. Wait, hold on. You can't do, you married. You can't do that. No, no. I tell my wife she in the back. I'd be like, hey, did somebody just offer me 20000 to see my see my little man. Right. And I'm going to give it to yeah. him. Here you go. Blum. Yeah. I don't, know if make, I don't know if mine going to make that much noise like you. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> But you see, you see, what, you see what I can say? That he's talking about he, he laying that bitch down. A <laughs> hundred million? Bro, nah. people don't know how much a hundred million is. That's a lot. That's a lot. That's I'm going to get my I'm gonna get my kid each of them 10 million and say, stay off the internet for the rest of your life. <laughs> so I got 70 million. Nah, listen, listen. You got Uncle Sam. They seen it. Yeah. It's like the, it's the thing. Y'all talking about the nude beaches. Yeah. 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 So I already hey. we do the, we go to new beaches, me and my wife. Right. Mm. It's the same, it's the same thing. Everybody got the same pieces. Everybody got the same thing. It's two it, men have a have a have a have a wee wee and two berries. Yeah. And women have coochies. Yeah. Yeah. And women okay. wear them, did they damn near naked at the beach already? What so you mean now all you can do is in the club. They already naked at the club. Yeah, so now so, so now you take off you take off your little pants and all and y'all walk around and it's just it's naked pieces. You done always everybody don't nobody, don't nobody get no don't nobody get no wood out there watching or looking. You can't really get no wood because just think about that. So we sit here and we naked. Yeah. Let's say be all three naked. And nah, a bad nah, one nah. walk past. But now she bad, but now you naked too. Yeah. I can't get hard sitting next to you. If a bad one, if a bad, if a bad one's walking past Shay, I yeah. can't get you hard to me. <laughs> you, I don't even see you. I'm looking at her. <laughs> what the fuck, you? What did that? What y'all got to do with me? Nah. But it ain't. It, listen, hey. they're, they're, sw they're swinger. They're swingers. Hey, what's what's a? They got what's a swinger? A swingers people that that like switch partners. So you might be mad. You you go to a club. You might be mad. You have a girlfriend, a significant other. Or whatever you like. Oh, I like you. So what's up? Yeah. And y'all trade off. And then y'all trade off. So all four of y'all go to the room. That we ain't swinging. Me, me and my wife ain't swingers. No. We're all natural. What that mean? We just go to the resort. And you watch other people. No, no. We you ain't really looking at nobody. You just doing what you normally do. Like swinging. you playing swinging. volleyball. That's, like, that's you, some new shit. That's I some new shit. Fishing. I be fishing. I go out fishing. My and my man is out. And my wife laying on the, she, she sun tanning and she naked and I'm out there fishing, swinging, I'm naked, we just swinging, naked. Swinging. You fishing? Hey. Like, like fishing, fishing? Yeah. Why you gotta, have, why you gotta be back in the fish? Man, put some clock. What kind of bullshit he is that? He talking about real fish, he talking about fishing for women. Yeah, no, he talking about fishing, he real fishing. fishing. Oh. Butt ball. Nah. Butt ball naked. What else But what you gotta, what you really gotta, you always gotta do is you gotta shave. Cause that adds an extra <laughs> inch. <laughs> <laughs> If you got that little man peeking out of that hair, it yeah, take that yeah, inch yeah, away. Yeah. You shave that thing, yeah. that man come out a little more. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. You're you gonna yeah. show him something. You gotta yeah, shave yeah, like, first. Like the head, the head. That little, when he's sticking out the shell, you know, it, <laughs> it ain't been that long, but when it come out the shell, when that man come out the yeah. thing, he, okay, yeah. So you okay. always gotta shave to add that extra inch so you can get that whole try thing. What's the name of that swingers club? Rail ain't going to no swingers club with you. Rail ain't going to no swingers club. I ain't say she was going, I was going. You can't go by yourself. You can't go solo. No, I ain't gonna, I, ain't gonna, I just wanna see, I just wanna ain't watch. nobody gonna let you see, Ocho, it's a swingers club. You bring somebody, they bring somebody, you trade it off. No, I ain't gonna trade off, I just wanna see how it works. That don't work like that. You so just wanna got, watch, you just no wanna watch people. No viewing room? Yeah, it's called they, Pornhub. What the fuck are you talking about? Hey, XNXX. Huh? XNXX. Yeah, that was somebody laugh. Y'all know okay. that's better than Pornhub. I like that. Yeah. Hey, you, you just hit me to some new shit. I, like I got that. you, bro. I yeah, what's wrong with you? Because I, I, it's always be just me and her. I ain't never heard nothing about no swinging unless it's a golf club. Yeah. I don't yeah, want to no. go. But we don't, we don't, we don't, that swing, we don't swing. Okay. But okay. We, we'll walk around people naked. Ain't no problem. I'm, yeah, I'm, I like that. What about this? Have you heard about this? Uh, uh, I think the uh, page six today had, say, OBJ and Kim Kardashian are getting serious. That's a nice chess move. That's a nice chess move. A good chess move. Yeah. You, you have to understand, I tried 
to get you down that route, but you declined. Yeah. And I just understood with Kim Kardashian being on your hip, what it can do in amplifying everything else you have going on. Like we would have 10 million subscribers just based on the connection with you guys being together. So, I mean, we taking, we taking the, a different route, but I'm oh, just Joe. saying and understanding what, it's a chess move. I'm too private of a person to live that public of a life. <clears throat> and I'm okay with that. How you private and you tell us all your stories? You tell that us all your- That doesn't happen. That was 30 years ago. I was a different man. I ain't talking about something that happened yesterday. I mean, but I think it would have been a good look. Most of these stuff happened in the like mid, late 80s and the, right. in the 90s. I think you and Kim K would have been a good look. Huh? I right. think it would have been a good no. look because it could amplify everything you have going on. It's good. It's, and for Odell, it's, it's a it's great very, chess move. It's very strategic. It's good. It's thank, like it's like Kelsey. You. It's like Kelsey and the little the little uh, oh, Swift? Swifty girl. Yeah, it's like that. It's very strategic. I but they might like I each other for real though. I don't know. And he said I love you, but we done told yeah. plenty of girls I love you that we don't really love. You just say it but because it makes them feel I, good you about themselves. In the public. No, he but she worth a, what seven billion dollars? No, I don't know if she worth that much. A billion. Let's go with a billion. A billion. Yeah. Billion. yeah. yeah. Should I say? Yeah, you say I love you to that. I can't be with no dummy. I can't be with, like, them girls, them dumb girls, I can't be with no dummy. I got to be with somebody that got some shit to them. Got some right, shit right, in right, there, right. yeah. Like some, they can, su some substance. Some substance. What, what like, if yeah, she dumb and got two billion? Is she giving me 20,000 looking at my wee-wee? <laughs> <laughs> I just can't, bro, it's, it's crazy. I can't do it. Like, that giggly, that giggly shit. That, <laughs> the goofy, that goofy Every time type. you talk to them, right, hey, right, how right. you doing? <laughs> I'm fine. <laughs> Bitch, I ain't tell a joke, bitch. <laughs> what you laughing for? <laughs> but that goofy stuff, like, and, I, right. and the Kardashians are genius marketers. Woo. They're genius great, marketers. Not a great business women. Not you great think? business people. Like, they just figured it out. I should have took you up yeah. on that. I, I'm telling you, you should have. You didn't listen to me. You never listened to me. That's the problem. That's why we're in the position we in now. We almost got 1.1 million subs. We good, but we could have had At 10. At the end of the night, we might have 1.2. I like it. 1.3. I like it. I'm yeah. going to take, take a drink of that. We're taking a I'm going to take a drink of that. Hey, we need another glass. Hey, we need another glass. Oh, you got some. I got a plastic cup. Yeah, come on. Right. God damn. I'll drink with your aunt. We didn't create this for plastic cup, but you'll do. I'll drink with your aunt. So what you think? You oh, boy, y'all about to get my wife hell tonight. That shit's strong. I, 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 I told her, I said, Rail, Rail, I'm sorry. Watch out. I'm sorry, Rail. Yeah. The last night we was drinking and I went to sleep. Yeah. I get to the room with sleep. It's late. But then I woke up by 4 a.m. Had to tap that hip. You tap that hip. <laughs> tap that hip. Yeah. I like that. that I'm going to try, a, I'm a, I'm a try that. She turned, it, yeah, yeah. she turned that thing around and she back up on right, you. Right, right, right. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You a liar. Both of y'all tired and lazy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I like that. I like that. that I like him. that. I like that. Rail, I'm sorry, Rail. Oh, hey, she ovulating. She, ovula hey, she ovulating too. What? She ovulating. She's ovulating. She ovulating. Mm. So it's gonna be some ba uh -oh, more baby real. coming. Baby number. What other be for real? Four. Twelve. Y'all be have twelve together. Twelve. That's why you gotta be cheap. Why? Kids expensive. No, they're not. Oh, what they you high. buy? It's Kids all high. what you buy. I don't care what you buy. Kids come. Buy some cheap pampers. What you gonna what you, name some cheap pampers? I buy cheap pampers. Don't worry about I it. I buy off brand pampers. That's all right. I it's, get my pampers from the dollar store. That's all right. They still cost money. I'm and just you saying. buying a bunch of them. Yeah, I buy it in bulk. And you can reuse them if you dry them. Yo, who who use a reuse? Don't nobody. Oh, first of all, now when I was growing pamper, up, people wash, used to use you. You you wash the pampers. How many and people in here over, the, over fifty? Anybody in here over fifty? So you know they used to have they used to have the diapers and they reuse. They wash. They had the cloth diapers. You. Yeah, and Thank they you. And them the same ones they, they sell at the dollar wait, store. Wait, we have no Pampers. Oh, I know, you I had, you had claw about. diapers? Yeah. <laughs> Yo, big black ass. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what I... <laughs> you done shit know. all out, them diapers. <laughs> <laughs> bro, you, bro, I grew up with cement floors and tin roof. What you thought we had? <laughs> you you think we... Right. You thought we... I'm eating Gerber? You, I ain't, mean, you ain't have Gerber? Man, I'm eating rice in two months. <laughs> what the hell wrong with y'all? <laughs> ain't nobody have no baby food. Ain't nobody. He know what I'm talking about. Ain't in the country. You ain't getting no Gerber. Right, 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 right. Oh, uh, you ain't man, tuna. Man, I mean neck bones, oxtail in three months. Three months. <laughs> yeah. Man, I got light. I mean light bread, hot dogs. I mean, really? dog, yeah. You ain't get no baby food. What's wrong with you? They had, they had to have Grits, something. Grits, oatmeal. My man know what I'm talking about. See, he from the country. Uh, yeah. They had to have something back there for the kids, They though. did. Like porridge? You ate. 
whatever the, whatever the grown ups say, it's just smaller portion. They pull a piece of meat off the oxtail okay, and neck bone hey, okay. and give it to you. Oh, so that's why he's so goddamn big. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that nigga said he was eating neck bones, bones. in two months. Yeah. Two months? You can't even hold your head up in two months. Don't worry about it. <laughs> they shoving a neck bone in his mouth in hey, two months. Yeah. Look at what's wrong with y'all. Oh, man. Hey, check this out. I I'm, know a lot of you guys, we've been talking about it. Monique, I had Monique on Club Shay Shay. Yeah. And uh, when I reached out to her, I reached out directly to her. And uh, I DM'd her. I said, I would love to have that last. I'd love to have you on Club Shay Shay. Like, when I invite guests on, I, know, I, I normally know a little bit about them, but I don't know their entire story. What I try to do is that when they come sit on my couch, I'm going to ask them a question. I don't lead them. I don't like, oh, yeah, I agree with you, and I don't know. I don't know. I just want to hear their story. I want you to hear their story. And what I also try to do, that I have a platform, you're not listening or you're not watching to hear my voice. You want to hear the guest's voice. So what I do, ask a question, and I get out the way. And somehow people have gotten mad at me because when they have platforms, they do more talking than the guests. But because I'll allow the guests to speak, they mad at me. So did you hear, did, have you seen any of Yeah, them? I saw, I saw so, all of so them. So what's your, what's your take on, on, on Mo in the situation? I would say, and I, I'm with you, where we got, we got criticized recently with uh, Michael Porter Jr. Okay. We got criticized, he was talking about the WNBA, NBA uh, wage gap and all that right. stuff. And they were like, y'all should have pushed back. But I'm with you, Shay. You bring a guest on to hear the guest. Unlike, I'm up here and y'all niggas keep talking, but you come up here, <laughs> I'm playing. But no, no, you come on to see the guests, so you want to hear what their stories, you want to hear what right. they want to talk about. And you don't need to always argue. Right. And it's, it's why the platform, our platform on, uh, on the Pivot, y'all go, what's it, subscribe and like, all the subscribe, stuff you got to like. tell them. On the Pivot, it's like, they want to hear the person talk, and it's not on us to push back and argue with them, because people like to argue, and that's the right. thing, I always talk about it. So the pivot works, is why it blew up, is why uh, athlete-driven media blew up, is because I call us lions. Mm -hmm. So like, if you ever been to, like, we, I went to Kenya recently with my wife, and we was at a, at a wedding. You were naked, were you? Who, in Kenya? Yeah, because you know. I like to walk around naked. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Man, with all them bugs and insects, something, show something me, going your wee-wee? Show me what you're working with, huh? I just got to walk around. But we in Kenya, and, it's a, it was a lion sitting down, lion laying down. The, the, it's an, and lions don't play around. Like, male lions don't be around other male lions because they got their territory. Unless they pack. What's that? Yeah, but no, 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 no. A male lion, he got, he got about seven, eight women. He got a bunch of kids running around, and he just lay there all day. The women hunt. He just chill. But when he looks his head up, everything on the whole plane stop and look to see why is he getting up? Is he hungry? Is he mad? Does he want some coochie? Right. Whatever it is, but they want to know what's going on. Right. The reason why the, 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 the podcasting took off with, with athletes like it is, is because people aren't used to seeing male lions that have their own territory, that have their own stuff, that, that, that right. run their life. And we can really sit down, we can argue, we can talk, we can whatever it is, and we can do it peacefully. Right. And that was, that's the thing that people are so amazed to see, or to be honest, to see four black men sit down and talk knowing that we run our lives, that we're a male lion, but we can still coexist and talk and be cool. Right. And that's the thing about the podcast, to your, to your question, that's the thing about the podcasting is that people always want you to push back on folks. I just want to ask you a question and really learn from you. Right. So no matter what they're saying, you're going to learn from them. Man, I learned so much from, from, Mike, uh, uh, from Caitlin, uh, uh, Caitlin Jenner. Jenner. I learned so much from Caitlin Jenner. I learned so much from Kevin Hart. I learned so much from The Rock. I learned so much from them really listening. Because some people talk to people to talk. Right. I ask questions, and we ask questions to listen and learn. Right. And that's the difference, and that's what you do. Right. And I respect it. Right. I don't have to have an yeah. answer always for, right. your, for you. Right. I just want to learn and see how you look at this situation. Right. Because I don't. I'm not bringing a guest on, Ocho. They want you to bring the guests on to the debate with them. Yeah, yeah. I, that's not what this is. This is a conversation. And I think that's why people are so willing to come to your show. You're, you're able to get the likes of the Steve Harvey's, the Moniques, the right. Cat Williams, because they know they can come on your platform. There's a certain level of comfort where they can be themselves and tell the truth. Right. And you're not going to, well, I don't think that's true. Right. And you're going back and forth, right. really questioning what right. they're telling you. Right. When you've already given them the 
the platform and the place right. to be comfortable right. to tell you the truth. For one, it's hard to get people to tell the truth in the first place. Right. And the fact that they're willing to come out and say it, there's no need to do that. All you have to do is just direct them. If they go off track a little bit, you just bring them on back. Right. Right. And that's, that's, the, that's the way I look at it. Um, a lot of times, uh, some of the guests and people are like, well, Kat, you should have pushed back on Kat. I said Kat was responding to what previous guests had said on the show. Right. I asked said, did he steal Kat's joke? Said said no. I asked, uh, who else did I have on there? And he responded to it. Ricky Smiley. Ricky Smiley. I, who would have ever thought that Ricky Smiley was originally cast to play, to play Money Mike? He brought that up. I didn't even ask him because right. nobody knew. I guarantee you nobody in the, in the audience knew I didn't prior know. to Ricky Smiley saying that. So Cat came back and he responded. Okay, so what you want me to say? I was, he, and Cat said, well, Jenna, he said that in your, in your face. I said, Cat, why would I assume that he's lying right. considering he's on the set? Right. I got, I'm assuming that people are coming here and they're telling me the truth. Right. I got no reason to believe that they're lying. Mm -hmm. And so I, I guess, you know, people are upset. I saw DLs. He said, nah, I'm the new Wendy Williams with a weight set. I'm like, bro, why are you mad at me? He called you the what? He said I was Wendy, Wiz Wendy Williams with a weight set. <laughs> <laughs> so in other words, he said. Oh, that, that's funny, though, huh? <laughs> it, 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 oh, okay. That's, that's yeah, a good one. That's, a good one. That that's one. a good one. I like that. But check this out. I ain't doing no gossiping. Right. They say what they say. I'm done with it. Right. I ain't going back and forth. Ooh, tell me more, Monique. Tell me right. more. Or tell me more, cat. Tell me more. He said what he said. I move on to the next subject, yeah. next topic. But it is what it is. I appreciate all you guys that support and that's going out and watch Monique, and she's a talker. As you can see, it was almost three hours long. Yeah. And she, I didn't think. I mean, I lost track of, with Cat because Cat and I we started early. Mm -hmm. Supposed to go at noon. We ended up going about eleven forty. So I lost track of the time. Mm -hmm. I didn't realize that I had gone that long. Monique, I had a sense. I'm like, well, damn. I say, man, this show feel like three hours. And sure enough, it was, yeah. it was basically three hours. We cut because I ended up, uh, one of the batteries on the cameras went out. Mm -hmm. So I was like, yeah, we're probably going pretty long. Matter of fact, I'm thinking about Monique said something like, I've been trying to find you somebody for a long time. Yeah. And Monique actually addressed that issue you with think? you as well. Monique said, you need to stop running around or running behind these little young folk and get you somebody named, uh, what was the name? I don't know. I think she said Bertha. It was, it she was, said some old name. Yeah, old school yeah, name. Yeah, yeah. Like a like a Bertha. But they say, look here, Ocho. Because you they old. Say, they say no. They say you, you only as young as the person you feel. I but feel you're like old. You need you to get like an old what? woman. I feel like thirty five. Nah, you ain't thirty five. No, you're not thirty five. Yeah, you can't. You can't hang. You twenty nine. No, you're not twenty nine. That, that, that's what I'm saying. What I feel. That don't mean what you feel. Oh, what you okay. are. No. You gotta get you an old you, woman. Yeah, you gotta you gotta get you somebody around fifty four fifty one k. I don't want nothing to overclose, and I donate those. <laughs> so let's try something. We gonna get, we gonna get you right though. We gonna find you. anybody single tonight? Yeah, Jack. No, everybody came. With Who's something. single? Who the hell coming? To, How you know? Ain't nobody coming to no. If you you coming to the Super Bowl single? I bet I can find somebody here single right now. Look at that. They back there yelling. Yeah, See, uh. told you. Yeah, told you. uh. Hey, don't get scared now. You look nervous. And you gonna, yeah. hey, he gonna, you gonna do that, that shit down there yeah. with you? Yeah, yeah. Jack! Yeah, they done, yeah, they done heard about that baby arm. They here. Nah. <laughs> yeah. Stop looking at the crowd. I'm just, I'm waiting on, well, look, I'm waiting on. Oh, who was at the bar, at the bar, at the bar, right there. What's your name, honey? Martini? Martini. Martini. Yeah. Oh, she young. Yeah. Huh? With a name like Martini, you know ain't nobody, ain't nobody over 30 with a name Martini. How you know? She, you don't think so? Her, t her name is Mesmerelda or something. You got Louise, you got uh, 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 Ella, <laughs> yeah. you got That's Marinelle. That's what you need, you need an Ella. Yeah, yeah, you got Louise, yeah. <laughs> Annabelle. You, you know what, you know what, you need somebody with a middle <laughs> uh, name, You need May. a Beatrice. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, true. If you got a middle name, May, May, you at least 45. Yeah, or 50. Mm -hmm. Oh, and go by all three names? Yeah. Yeah, you throw that middle name in there, you, that's about yeah. your speed. Mary Ellen. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. I like it. I yeah. like it. I like it. I like Bessie it. Bessie Ann, Sue Beth. Sue Beth. Yeah, Sue Beth? You know. Yeah. You got three names. Cause ain't nobody, cause ain't nobody using all three of them. You right. know, everybody got a middle. I, ain't, I don't have a middle name. You ain't got no middle name. You know name. my brother have a middle name. No. You, got, you got a middle name? Yeah, it's Channing. Well, what's your first name? Randolph. Yeah. yeah. That's, <laughs> That's an old ass name. Yeah. <laughs> That's an old ass name. That's an old ass name right there. 
That's whole last name change. But your name Randolph? <laughs> oh yeah, that's my business name. <laughs> Randolph. When I go, when I go to deal with people with money. I'm Randolph. Right, right. So, <laughs> if you tell somebody, oh, uh, Randolph Crowder. No, I don't tell nobody. Man, they gonna hang the phone up on you. And, and say you country as hell. So I did it. I put my son's name Randolph and my second son's middle name is Randolph. I kept the I kept the name going through the Boy, family. That is so, if that's some, that's some country shit. Yeah. yeah, yeah, Jack. That's almost like George Foreman. He got like all his kids. All his sons. Yeah, Everybody, that's what I did. For real. Yeah, like and my that. wife. Like my that. wife ain't really like it, but she had to deal with it because she know I'm country. Yeah. I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep the line going, and I'm rich. Yeah. So the kids are taken care of. That's yeah. the thing that killed me. I'm like, I done lined this shit up for y'all. Y'all better have my name. Because y'all yeah. ain't got to worry about nothing because of me. Right, 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 y'all, right, right. Y'all can work at the Wendy's. Right. They'll they be rich the forever. Like, yeah, man, that's why I had to put my name you in there. You did that. You did yeah. that to yeah, me. Yeah, 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 I like yeah, that. Yeah. I like that. You so had, you, named, you named Randolph Randolph Channing Jr.? I'm, I'm, I'm Jr. Jr. already. Okay, so you the third. So my son is Randolph Channing Crowder the third, and then I have a daughter named Ava, and then my second son is Chaz Lee Randolph Crowder. Okay. And we can't have no more babies because I had a vasectomy. So if my wife get pregnant again, we got a long conversation. <laughs> what, she might just name him Randy. <laughs> she ain't, she ain't going to name him nothing. <laughs> <laughs> so what's the... Bro, what's I'm, the, I'm bro. Shay, what, I'm shooting dog slobber. What, what's, the, what's, the, what's, the, what's, the, what's the daughter name? She got Randy? Ava Milan. No, my wife was like, you can't name. We can't put Randolph in my yeah, daughter you name. You can't, you can't fit that in no, no you woman name. You can't fit nothing cute. In your no. You can't fit Randolph cute in a girl's name. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. You might could have did Randy Ava, with, a, with an I. Ava Milan Randolph Crowder. No, yeah. 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 She going she gonna, to she gonna like the women. Jenny, thanks for stopping by, bro. I really appreciate that. Thanks for the support. Ch Randolph Channing Crowder. Hey. Yeah. Fly me Thank to you. the moon. Let me play amongst the stars. Ready? Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, we got a very, very special guest. Where Doug at? Coming to the stage. Who that? Right now we have Sweet Tate. So, what? Sweet? I need yeah, an autograph. Look at here. Can I get a picture? And stop. I'm... <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you, baby. How you doing? Good morning. What's up, mama? You good? All right. What's up, y'all? I know that's right. How you doing? I'm good. How are you? I mean, when, we, when I got the memo earlier today talking about uh, sweetie, I was like, sweetie, sweetie? I mean, like, <laughs> you know, I hate to say this. I say, the one that used to date Quavo. Well, why you do that to me? Because I, cause I wanted to make sure it was you. That's all I got? No, that ain't all you got, but... You know, because I'm the icy girl. I was Mrs. McDonald's. I had a Mac campaign. I done broke yeah. some records. Yeah. Well, come I'm, on then. Well, tell, tell, tell us some more what you done. A lot. So you don't, you don't want to be referred to as... That's... Of course not. So I guess, I guess there's no chance of you spending a block with a ex. I don't really spin the block. Huh? Wait. I don't really spin the block. Spin what about the block? you? Spin the block? What's no, that? Hold on, time out. Oh, sure, I'm having a conversation. Oh, we got okay. Club Shay Shay today. Uh, go ahead, go ahead, go, so, ahead, go ahead. So, you don't really, but would you consider it? You know, I don't have uh, a record of doing that, so, no. So, when you done, you done? Up until now, yeah. So, up until, see, there's a possibility you say up until now, you ain't met the right one just yet. Well, if I met the right one, I wouldn't have to spin the black. No, but I'm just, that's, there you go. Okay, how about this? The man, he was, he was nice. I don't know what transpired, and you don't have to get into that. But how you going to get up off the gift the man gave you? Why would you get, get rid of the gift? I didn't want to get rid of the gift. You didn't get rid of it? No. <laughs> what, 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 tell us what happened to the gift. I don't know what happened to the gift. Oh, come on. Come on. I don't know. I, I, I really would like to tell you, sweetie. Now you know what happened. I don't know. Needless to say, I bought myself the big color in Rolls Royce, so it don't even matter. Right. So you ain't got your own? Absolutely. He didn't take. 
That's Ocho. That's an Ocho move. He an Indian. I mean, he takes stuff back. Who? You. Absolutely. No, I don't. I ain't had taken nothing back. You have. You did say it. Name one thing I ever took back. You said if you got somebody something, y'all break up. You got to leave what I got on this the leave on the table. This is point. I haven't had to take nothing back because ain't nobody left me. No, that's what you, you just said the other night. Everybody left him. Did he not say that? I did. So oh, now, whoa, 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 whoa. You got to listen. You're not listening. Everybody I was with before rail, I ain't never bought him nothing. <laughs> I ain't buy nobody nothing. I ain't buying nah, no. Nah. So you I, ain't about no, you ain't bought nobody no purse, no earrings, no watch, no car. You ain't never bought no girlfriend you had before real. No. For one, I I'm just asking a simple question. Let me question. talk. No, no, okay. Let me talk. I'm gonna let you talk, but just answer that question. You can no, I ain't okay. buying nobody no watch because time is free. I'm not buying you a purse because I got the money. I got a lot about to come out. I'm just telling you. What you you you, buy, you buying any of this? What you mean? You buying the heat? At no point in time. She know I'm cheap. Just a second, don't you? <laughs> at no point in time. At no point in time in his life, prior to the, the young lady that he's with now, her name is Rail. Sherelle Rosado. We call her Rail. At no point in time did he ever buy a girlfriend anything. I don't know. I mean, how long would you be with a guy if he didn't buy you nothing? I'm talking about like a purse, or a pair of earrings, or a pair of shoes. I mean, I get gifts before I meet them, so I, I don't know that kind Ooh. of lifestyle. See, she, that's the big boys, though. That's the big fish. Yeah. The, big, the, big, the big fish spoil, the big fish spoil way ahead of time. They court without even having to see you. I can't, like, that's, 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 that's a different ball game. He lied. That's a different ball game. Well, how about this here? Check this out. You a 49er super fan, right? Absolutely. Your grandfather was an athlete. Absolutely. Played 11 seasons in the NFL. Uh-huh. So what is your, the likelihood or chances that you will be willing to date an athlete? Date who? An athlete. Oh, I don't know. I've never dated an athlete. Really? Uh-uh. What you ain't know? Uh, you know, I've just been dating other people. I know, but I'm, oh, in the business. So, cause yeah. But I'm saying, would you be open to dating an athlete? Honestly, what's interesting about um, musicians and how they say we, we date kind of like the same people, it's like high school. You're going to date who you're around. I don't really be around athletes like that, so I never had the opportunity. But if you're out on the set, I mean, athletes be on the set. Now it's not like, you know, after, let me. Okay. What happened? You know what? I got a great question for you. Because he a lot. You were cousins with Gabrielle Union. Mm-hmm. So, what was, did y'all, I mean, how, how close? What, what cousin, first cousin, second cousin? Well, it's my dad's cousin, so my dad grew up with her. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's her real cousin, not that fake cousin that you say. Who? ASAP. You say ASAP. ASAP is my cousin. <laughs> I could call ASAP right now. <laughs> she laughing. She laughing. Because you know that's my cousin. No, she don't. Everybody knows no, that. No, don't nobody know you that. You the only one don't know no, that. No, you don't. You we don't. look just alike. I just ain't got no hair. You look like ASAP to you. Yeah, yeah, thank you. It's a little bit. Thank you. Told you. Do you know how much space is in between that? Huh? That's, that's enough? She said on a scale of one. Are, you, are you, you, you working on a new album? My first album. Your first one? Yeah. You excited? I'm nervous, excited. You need, why, you, you need, why are you nervous? I mean, y'all are athletes. It's like getting ready for the big game. Yes. It's my first big game. Ooh, Ooh I like that. I like that. So what I, can we expect from this album? What we... What, what, well, I'm from the West Coast, so I feel like my goal is to just tell my story as, you know, a girl growing up in the Bay, Sacramento, California, and what I've been through. Sacta. I know that's right, Bay Area. Did you, did you, uh, did you always want to be an entertainer? Um, well, I wanted to do hair at first. You wanted to do hair first? And then back then, um, what people make it now is nothing compared to what they used to make back then. And when, right. I, when I looked at the... The annual salary back then, I was like, I gotta get more money than this. Right. I like so I, I changed my career over. <laughs> so, could, could like, if somebody, like, if a girlfriend of yours say, hey, sweetie, can you do my hair? Could you do hair now? Oh, I love getting my girls ready. Oh, you do? Do you? Yeah. I do, I do hair, I do, I do my old lady hair and makeup. Oh, yeah, that's I, cute. Yeah, I install little wigs, uh -huh. flat iron, wash set, okay. curl, everything. You be putting the glue Extensions, down? Extensions, huh? We put in the glue down? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I use Gorilla Glue. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm not, I'm not lying. No, I'm, I use Gorilla And for my kids, I use edge control. Okay. You can't use Gorilla Glue on here. How you? 
you gonna pull the whole scalp I mean, off. I meant to say ass control. I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah. 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 Ask, baby, tell him I do your hair. Thank you. She say yes, baby. Yeah. I love that. I do makeup love too. That. Matter mm -hmm. of fact, you know Arrogant Tay. Uh huh. I'm Lonzo. Uh huh. Jonathan. Uh huh. I put them niggas on. Really? Yes. Now, ladies, you know your man love you if he help you take your braid down. Thank you. That's a real man That's right me. there. Cutting That's out, you know, in between the strings, not yep. your hair. And then That's I know love. how to do it so I don't cut her hair. I love that. Yeah, that's how good I am. Okay. Yeah, so the I'm more you could do, the more you could say. This dude here, sweetie, I swear. So how, lo how long have you been in the game? Um, Icy Girl dropped 2017. So, um, three, four. Ooh, dang, that was SoundCloud. Dang, it's been a minute. Right. So when you, first, when you first started, were you nervous to get up on stage and get up in front of people? Were you nervous? Yeah, I was nervous. So what did you do to, what did you do to calm your nerves, to relax yourself? Hennessy, I'm going to ah! take a look. <laughs> hey, you want, you want to try some of my cognac? You know I have a cognac. Well, I, I did dry January. I'm taking my first drink tomorrow night. You should actually come. I'm performing at Club Zook. It's around the corner. Wait, can I help? Can I perform too? Oh, yeah. my goodness. With you? Yeah, come on. Yeah. I'm performing with T-Pain tonight in his residency. Okay. Then Pull I perform. Up tomorrow. Oh, I'm finna be famous. <laughs> I'm finna like be he famous. ain't already famous. Do you, do you believe what he's saying? Yeah, he like the cool uncle. Yeah, the, <laughs> hey, the, the cool uncle. One of them lying uncles. And then you like the nosy uncle. Woo, nosy! <laughs> <laughs> I, I ain't, I ain't it's okay. At, sweet, actually, I'm, I'm really it's not okay. nosy. I'm really not nosy. I'm hanging with y'all. So you please. hanging with us? Yeah. I appreciate that. Of course. So, you like the 49ers. So, how, how avid of a, a fan of sports are you? Well, I grew up playing sports. Really? Yeah. What you play? I ran track, 4x1, 100 hurdles. You ran the 4x1? First yeah. leg or anchor? Third leg. Third leg. Okay, third. I had okay. to, like, hug the corner. Oh, you yeah, had to right, hug? Right, yeah. Right, right, yeah. Right. You know? That curve. <laughs> You can run that curve? Uh-huh. Yeah. What's ahead form. is called, what's behind stays behind, huh? Mm-hmm. Okay. You play basketball, soccer? I played basketball for one season. I was point guard, but I couldn't run up and down that court. Why? <laughs> they was leaving me behind. <laughs> That's a different type of endurance. Right. Mm-hmm. Let me ask you, were you like, because I was thinking if you say, when you say basketball, I was like, you probably girly girl. I mean, you can't play with all the, I mean, your nails no, are I done. played. I played powder puff for four years. I was quarterback. You play powder puff? Uh huh. Court, court, what? I got a little arm. You yeah, got a little okay. arm on you. Mm hmm. But what? So what? What? what is, I you? mean, I didn't get the nails until like I became like an artist. Oh, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. okay. So you were like, you like, you were like athletically, huh? Our big time boy. Really? Mm hmm. I would have, I would have, I would have never guessed that. Mm -hmm. That's dope. You are you married? Uh uh. Boyfriend? Uh uh. No. Did she tell you she didn't want to talk about that? No, she told you that. Oh, okay. You the cool uncle. I'm the cool <laughs> uncle. You're not supposed yeah, to be the cool Yeah, I'm, I'm, not, I'm, yeah, I'm, the, I'm the cool you uncle. Can. See, I told you that. That's really him. Not just, I, I have a friend, I have a friend of mine that would be interested because I found out you were coming, but I wanted to make sure everything was okay before I asked you, and I just want to know if friend? it's okay if, if y'all can meet. No, 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 no. Hold on. Wait a minute now. You can't be coming up here trying to get the whole, the, we, tell them that. I'm trying to help. She, she said she's single. Help. You want help? I think you. I think I you. No, it's good. Radio, she said. Own. She said she never dated an athlete. I have someone, high caliber, high caliber athlete that would like to meet her, and he told. What he told think? me. What, we are, what, hey, what I, 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 hey, hey, hold on. We gonna ask you. We gonna ask the audience. Ask the chat. Put it to the vote. We gonna put it to the vote. You mind? Mm, put put, it let's vote? put it to the vote. Okay, chat. What you think? Should sweetie, should Ocho hook sweetie up with his athlete? With his athlete friend. Yeah, yeah. It's okay. One. Good Here, dude. Good what dude. What do you think? Too. Clap if you think Ocho should, Sweetie should. Yeah. <laughs> the nightcap. This the match. The matchmaker. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It's a hey, listen. It's that boy too. He oh. hey, he from Pompano. <laughs> he from Pompano. <laughs> oh yeah, he big time. You She's might want. You, so you might want to. Hey, yeah, he like that. That's that boy. I don't know who you're talking about. You, can I tell her or no? Nah, uh, uh. No, no, she don't want to bend about that. No. We, we, I, I, I tell, we tell yeah, her. Yeah, tell yeah, her you, yeah. Tell her. Tell her. Tell her. Tell her. Tell her. Tell her. Okay. Okay. But do you like going to sporting events? Absolutely. Oh, I be losing my my voice at the Niner game. Serious? Yeah. Wait, you understand the game of football? I played football. Okay. My, my, I apologize. I apologize. So, okay. Who's your favorite player? Um. I really like watching Brett Favre's highlight tapes. That would get me going before the game. Okay. Mm-hmm. Basketball, who's your favorite player? Kobe. 
Kobe. Hey. Yeah. So you are a Lakers fan. Yeah, but you know, like when you know when you're born into it, like that was my dad's favorite player. Right. Coming home, he'd be cooking. The game would be on. So like. Because he liked it, loved it, I loved it. Okay. So I wasn't looking at Kobe how like the world looked at Kobe. I'm just looking at Kobe like my dad's favorite player, so it ended up being my favorite player. That's live. That's live. I'm That's a daddy live. girl. I, I'm, I'm, surpri I'm surprised hearing you talk that you haven't dated an athlete yet because you're probably more of an athlete's dream because you like sports. Mm -hmm. And you mm -hmm. like football. Yep. He's going to want you to watch football because, you know, do you like basketball? You like going to sporting events, as opposed to saying, "Ah, oh, that's boring. I don't want it. That's all you do." Blah blah blah. So I'm surprised. No, it's, I come from a big, big sports family. Pop Warner, all that, them type of games. Pulling up to my uncle, my cousin's practices. Right. Yeah. Uh huh. You, you have brothers and sisters? I have three siblings. Three siblings. You're uh -huh. the oldest. I'm the oldest though. Wow. Mhm. Mm but I got a big family: seven uncles, two aunties. Wow. And hella cousins. So, the, so I guess the cookouts were live, huh? Still live. They're still live. Uh huh. So let me ask you a question: When you go around your cousins, because obviously you're different, you're not the same little girl that they remember. You're not a, a celeb. So what's it like when you go to the cookout? Do you get bombarded? Oh, let's take a picture, cuz. Honestly, I'm not the most interesting person in my family. What? Yeah, my family is full of characters, and I always tell people that. So when people come over, they just like it's like one big like. TV show. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> yeah, it's fun. Would you do a reality TV show? Um, yeah, if I was an executive producer. Right. Because mm -hmm. you want to be able to control how it's shot. Yeah, the yeah. narrative. Right. Absolutely. Because you ain't going to be throwing no water and all that kind of stuff, like pulling it. Mm -mm. Not, not you. Mm -mm. So what would your reality show be? How, how, would it be based on your career? Would it be Sweetie at Home, Sweetie Cooking? What, what, I mean, what type of reality show would you like to present to an audience? I mean, I like life in the fab lane, like Kamora Lee Simmons. You okay, know? yeah, it's yeah, a yeah, blend yeah, between yeah. like yeah. So, your social yes. culture, mm -hmm. you getting money, and then me like my personal life as well. Right. You know what? I, I would love to see if you were to do a reality sh reality show. I would like to see how music music works, just the industry in itself. Because all all I know, and I'm sure most of the people out here that are not, are not in the music, we only see the finished product, the right. album, right. and then we see them people people on stage. I want to know all the work that goes into the process from the very before, beginning, yeah, the thought process, beginning. the pen, the paper, yeah, and then yes. you go into the yeah, studio. Yeah, I want to see that. That, that, would be, that would be dope. This that album dope. that you have coming out, when is, it, when is it dropping? I'm not sure yet. You're not sure yet. Mm -hmm. So how long have you been working on this album? Five years. <laughs> Five years? <laughs> it take time. It take time. Okay. Per yeah, perfection. Perfection yeah. takes time. You write a verse a day? <laughs> <laughs> I've been, you know, soul searching, artist searching. Right. Uh-huh. So... Collabs, how many, I mean, how many oh. features, how many collabs are on the album with you? I mean, typically, I like to get the song done and then get the features afterwards. <clears throat> oh, okay. Go ahead. <clears throat> she said a feature. Collab. Huh? I rap. Oh. Yeah, I rap. You do? Let me hear something. Huh? Let me Presence. hear something. You want, um, Go ahead. I'm not the one to play with. They call me Ocho. Bitch, I got an itch. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> That's it for now. Okay, a little freestyle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, something. you can write for me and ain't nobody gonna know. Okay. Yeah. Baby, I got another job. No, you don't. So do you have, like, how much, like, what's your, what's your take on, like, ghost writers? Are you okay with that or do you want to, like, everything, basically every verse that's on this album needs to be sweet? Absolutely. And I feel like when you're an artist, especially when you're a woman, they try to push you in rooms with like a whole bunch of writers. Right. Just because I feel like they doubt a woman who could write. Um, but I write on all my songs. Absolutely. Really? Yeah, because have. like recording something that's not mine, I feel like I'm acting. And I don't want to feel like I'm acting my art. I need to be in my art. Mm. Right. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's interesting. You know, why is it such a huge problem when rappers or artists have ghostwriters? When R&B singers have people that write for them? Why is such a such an issue when it comes to rappers? Um, well, I mean, when you look at the history of hip hop, when you go back to like the origins of it, everyone was rap was writing their own rap. So I right. think it just goes with like the culture of where it all like started. Like people was writing their own art. So I think it as it transitioned to mainstream and ghostwriters came about. I think that's when people felt like the art was being diluted. Mm. Right. Okay. Understandable. Understandable. Um, this back and forth. Um, and you don't have to comment on it if you don't want to, but there's, Nikki had her song came out, his, and then, uh, excuse me, Meg had her song came out, 
called His. Nikki, I later found out it's Nikki Minaj. So <laughs> the barbs came for me because, you know, she goes by one name apparently. And so I didn't know who that was. But anyway, what is it with women uh, a rap and beat? You know what? I always wonder why people even ask that. Because when the men have their beef, it's like, okay, it's like a sport. But when the women do it, it's like not seen as a sport. I feel like when there's beef, it's a sport. And right. you're basically like seeing who's the most witty and who's the most clever. Mm. So the beef is good in women hip in hip hop for women, I think, mm -hmm. as long as it stays at the pen. With the pen. Who, who has the best penmanship and you get it done in the booth. Right. Not a bad thing. But do you think it can go too far? Because I think because we've seen it go too far. I mean, what you're seeing right now is just battle rap, but just singles. Okay. Because mm. if they was battle rapping, then it wouldn't be like beef. They'd be going at each other on stage like this. But now that it's singles, it's brought a bigger audience to it. You believe if somebody have beef, they can ever be friends? They can be friends? Can Okay, let's just say you, you, you got beef with, a, with another female. Let's just say her name, Cookie. <laughs> and Cookie, you know, come for you. And then you, she didn't send, you didn't send for her, but she came for you. So you got to, you know, you got to come back at her. Could y'all be friends? Honestly, when it comes to like something being sent to me, if my name on, na ain't on it, then it's not directed towards me. Oh, but she's gonna, she gonna, she gonna make sure you know she talk. Even though she don't say sweetie, you uh -huh. know it's about you. Yeah, but I feel like if you don't say my name, then you ain't really about it. Yeah. Oh, okay. Ain't ship no package without no address. Exactly. <laughs> But no, I, I'm going to send it to the address. I just ain't got a name on it. I like that. That's a good <laughs> you know one. what I mean? Yeah, that's, that's a good one. That's a good one. Hmm. But you I ain't going to open the package, huh? Because if it ain't got your name on it, you ain't going to open the package, even if it, know it came to, you know, your direct address, and you know it's your address. It ain't no apartment B. It's, uh, I mean, you live in Hollywood Hills or wherever you live. I don't know where you live. I'm, I ain't going to put your business out there. Um, but I'm just saying. Why are you looking at me like that, sweetie? Because you're posing an interesting question. I think I could, like, if I ever get put in that situation, I could see how I address it. But I never look at it like that. You would just, would you, if, oh, let me, if somebody, let's just say somebody put your name in it, would you just like, man, I ain't got time for that. I got too much going on. I'm it, sweetie. It, it depends That's, on who it is, too. Like, if some people don't even deserve a response. It depends on the circumstances. Ah. What's the circumstance that'll make you respond? Well, what's said and who said it. So, oh, Really? Interesting. So how about this? You probably should like, probably like date athletes because like you date somebody in the music injury. No, no, industry. no, no. I got somebody for already. That's what I'm saying. I got I'm, somebody I'm, for already. I'm, I'm, good. I'm, I'm good. To, but I'm saying in the music industry, you know, you might mess with, have, have talked to somebody. Somebody see you talking to somebody that they used to talk to and they feel some type of way and about you mad. because you talking to him. I mean, because he might have broke up with her, but she didn't break up with him. And so now it might be you that broke them up. Ooh, that sounds like a Lifetime movie. You know what? I've been watching your clips. <laughs> Club Shay Shay. I've been watching them for the past couple of, couple of weeks, and now I see why you're good at what you're doing. What I do? What I no, do? No, I'm a fan. I've been watching it. But Thank you. I just, really just seeing that. you live in motion, I peep game. <laughs> so did you, did you subscribe to Nightcap and Club Shay Shay? Absolutely. Well, thank you very much. We got a, we got a, we got That's a, why we got a million. Yeah, we got a million, million 1,228. I like it. I'm just trying to figure out. I'm, like I said, when they told me that you, was, you could potentially come on, I'm like, are y'all for real or y'all bull jiving? I just want to feature. Why are you smiling? Bull jiving. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Where you from? I'm from Georgia. Okay. Yeah, I'm like, are y'all for real? Because I like called again. I was like, Ash, are you for real now? Please? Come on now, stop playing. She's like, no, I'm serious. She says it's not a definite yet, but uh, uh, her team says she's interested. I was like, okay. She's like, what do you think? I was like, I'm talking about a sweetie, sweetie. She's like, yeah, shit. How many other sweeties you know? I was like, well, there was that one that show that was on that was on Oprah's network. Y'all remember what I'm talking about? Wasn't that, wasn't that sweeties also? Sweetie pies, right? Yeah. So yeah, I'm just gonna different. make so weedy, so yeah, so weedy. Yeah. No, so no I but like... I was I was pulling up. I've been a fan since Sports Center. So you you watch your car? I watch Sports Center. Oh, I was on there too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> let, me yeah. Try, let me try to steal my shine. Yeah, I, I'm just saying I was on there so today. Why, so you uh, your your show is tonight or tomorrow? 
Tomorrow, you coming? Tomorrow. What time? 2 a.m. Man, Wait, you got you got to come. Cause remember, she said I could perform with her. Oh, man, you know I can't keep my eyes open at no two. That's years. why we gonna take a nap. And you can't keep your eyes open past nine thirty. Now, I'm <laughs> baby, you want to go to the show tomorrow? We out. There it is. So in the meantime, so what you what you what, what you getting into tonight? You you gonna gamble? You, you, when you come to Vegas, do you gamble? No, mm mm. Cause I'm a I'm a like poor sport. If I lose that money, I don't know what I'm gonna do. <laughs> <laughs> so when you come to Vegas, you just come to. Ha I mean, do you come to Vegas like to chill, or do you come to come to Vegas to like hang out? Um, I mainly been out here just to to perform and to work. My first time actually partying in Vegas was my first performance. And how was it? It was cool, but it was like I wanted to experience Vegas as like a like a normal. Yeah, you want to come? Yeah. You want to come and just like the the, the uh, maybe gamble a little bit because you say you don't want to lose your money, but you know go places to eat and just see see Vegas. No, I want to come and get lit. You want to come get lit? Yeah, but when you outside and you got cameras on you all the time, you feel like you got to be like somewhat reserved. But you're never gonna be able to do that again. You understand that, right? Mm-hmm. Are you okay with that? I mean, it come with the territory. Yeah, see, I, I it's mean, I'm really, like, it's really gonna be worse when she date when young she date boy. Yeah, oh, it's it's a wrap. Yeah, it's it's over. Yeah. Yeah. See, I, I like. Y'all yeah. know who he talking about? No. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey, yeah. Come on, well, let me see the, what the poll say. Hey. Hey, hey, what the poll? I'm looking for the poll. <laughs> what the poll? What the, what the poll what, say? What, what the poll? Ash, what the poll? Uh, uh, okay. Yeah. Well, I want to really thank you. Ocho and I want to thank you. Thank Nightcap, you. Live I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you. See you tomorrow. Thank, thank you, you for coming thank out, you sweetie. That's me. unbelievable. I really appreciate me. that. Thank you very much, baby. The cool uncle and the nosy uncle, y'all. No, I'm the cool uncle. I'm the storytelling uncle. Woo. Look at that. Come on, you got Hold on, you just can't walk up and leave it. Damn. <laughs> Come on, let me see you. Let me see you tomorrow. Thank you. Right. Thank you. Bye thank you. Sweetie, ladies and gentlemen. We big time. We get we get celebs coming on our yeah, show. Yeah, we famous. Yeah, <laughs> they ain't, ain't nobody do it like us, Ocho. Nope, they not, can't do it. Not like that. Not like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, we got a giveaway. We hit a million subs, and that was we got a a, a five special gift basket to bless uh, some lucky fans in the audience. We're gonna do a, a do some trivia. I'm gonna ask you guys five questions. Please uh, do hey, not shout out the answer. A gift basket. Uh huh. A gift basket? We got, we got your cigars in there? Nah, let's give away a money. Let's give money first. I ain't got no money on me. Hey, y'all got Zelle? Y'all got, got Cash App? Okay, the first question we start with, we're going to start with $1,000, and we're going to work our way up. And then we'll go to the gift basket. So how much are we giving away? I'm starting with $1,000. I got this. I got this tonight. So how, so how, many, how, many, how, many, how many? How many? Right. People are we gonna bless? The first question, we're gonna start with a thousand, okay. and then we're gonna go to the gift basket. And then depending on what my funds look like, I might give away another thousand. <laughs> look at you, old child. <laughs> <laughs> Cause I got money. Okay. Back in September, we talked about my interview on TMZ appearing to, uh, to leave a restaurant with a famous singer, actress. Name that singer actress. Hold on. I, didn't I just tell you don't shut up the answer? Who you oh, go ahead. Pick up you can you can pick out the person you want to ask. We're gonna uh, that's gonna give us the answer. Nah, don't do that. Don't do that to me. You you pick the person because I can't pick the person because I'm giving out the money. Yeah, you can. Nah, I wanna do that. But they, they heard the thing, you, be give mad. Out the, you got to give out they give out the money, but they gotta get the answer right. Oh, what's the answer? Oh, okay, okay. Hey, yo. Hold on. Who that is waving their hand like that with a striped shirt, look like a prison, prison jacket? Come on up here. Come on. Tell us you. Yes, you. Yes, you. Ben Aki. What is it? Selena Gomez. Oh, that's your ex. <laughs> that ain't my ex. But that's who I was doing. That's, who no, I'm that's doing your it. ex. That's your ex. That is correct. What's, what's your name? 
Nora from Texas. Texas. Yay! Oh shit. You a you a Cowboys fan? No. Okay. Yes. You you gotta you gotta come up you gotta come up, Mama, so I can get so I can get all this little change now. Oh my God. Okay, come with give me. A, come with me. Come with because me. she's from Texas and not a Cowboy oh fan, God. give her extra two hundred. Where to? Oh my God. Shit. Oh my God. This What's awesome. the next one? Come with me. Come with me. Well, she going the wrong way? You're bringing around okay, Ocho. Okay, okay. Oh, they was outside? No, there's not a direct passage, Ocho, from oh, where bad, she was. Yeah. I ain't know, I ain't know. I ain't been yeah, out you there. you good, you good, bro. All right. Where's she? Where? God damn. They escorting her to the stage like she Kamala Harris. <laughs> damn. <laughs> Huh? You gonna do it or you want me to do it? You gonna do it? No, you, you sure? Congratulations. What's your name again? My name is Nora from no, Nora. Nora from Texas. You gonna do it? All right. Nora, how you doing? Hey, oh honey, gosh. it's been so long. Oh <laughs> it's nice to it's meet you. It's a pleasure. It's a pleasure to meet you. I used to watch you in a reality show. I'm not yeah, gonna mention yeah. who. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't mention that. No, the yeah. white yeah. is here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Don't want to yeah. Yeah, yeah, Nora, he might deduct you 500. Yeah, you yeah, mentioned don't do that. that. Don't do that. Now, listen, you, you're going to get your money, right? See the in, in That guy hold room? his hand up? Hand up? The bald head guy. Right here. His name is Doug. <laughs> he Doug. He's going to take care of it. Can you take her to Doug, please? <laughs> oh, my, my, yeah. oh, you're okay. Your son? He's my son. You're my boy. You're my boy, dog. You're my boy, dog. You're my boy, dog. Yes, sir. I have a great Congratulations. son. He brought me to Vegas. Appreciate you, bro. Thank you. Thank you, bro. Can you take mom to Doug right here? 100%. Wait, I got you after. Let me put my face on. Yep. Okay. So now we what are we gonna do? What you gonna do? What are we gonna do now? Now we're gonna go to the gift basket. Okay. Okay. Question number two. What did I admit to doing eight to ten times a day? Sex. Whoa, whoa, did I tell Don't blurt out the answer. My bad. Hold on. Pick up. Go ahead, pick up. Um, right there with the, is that a white bubble vest? Yeah. All right, bu bubble vest, bubble vest. Yeah. The bubble vest, right Yeah, there, you right, right yeah. Vest. Yeah, you heard, I heard you ask if the mic working. <laughs> what is it? Brushing your teeth. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> you said that? Yeah. Thank Eight, you. ten times a day? Yeah. It's only 24 hours in a day. I brush my teeth eight to 10 times, not eight to 10 hours. Man, that's too much, boy. Boy, you're gonna, you're gonna. Now y'all understand why he was in the same class K through 12? I'm just saying, brushing your teeth eight, 10 times a day, you're gonna brush all your goddamn anamel off. I'm, I'm, I'm just saying. Two or three is enough. Well, I go to, I go to Columbia where you went and get me some more. I ain't never been to Columbia. Where you get them from? I'm on probation. Where you get them from? Oh, these mine. <laughs> oh, shit. shit, I paid for them. <laughs> <laughs> Question number three. Ocho said that when he was on the Bengals, he got cussed out by a legendary actor. Oh. Name that actor. Right here, right here. Right here. Right here. Where we at? Where we at? What are the? I can't even. I can't yeah. even see. They got a You're light right shining on me. By Denzel Washington. Yeah, yeah. That is correct. Yeah. My squad in the house. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much. Take out the gift basket. Thank you. And thank you for coming out, ma'am. Appreciate that. ATL in the house. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. How many, how many more questions we got? We got two more questions. All right, the last question, we're going back to 1,000. Okay. Matter of fact, the last question, make it to 5,000. Hey, Doug, you got five grand on you? No? Okay, we'll make it a thousand. Okay. Back on December 17th, we had our very first guest join us on Nightcap. Who was that guest? Oh, the... Who picked this guy? I'm going to pick on, the last Pop, one. What's up? Wrong. That was Dion said. It was. It was. Give him, give him a mic. Yeah, take him the mic. Prime time, Deion Sanders. It was Deion Sanders. It was, it was whoa, Coach Prime. Hey, hey, hey! Give him the mic one more time. One more time. One more time. 
Now, you, if you answer this right, if you answer it wrong, you ain't getting your gift basket. Can Deion Sanders cover me? He could before you had, he had his surgery. What'd he say? He could before he had his surgery. He said he could hey, before he had his surgery. He ain't getting no motherfucking gift basket. <laughs> Don't get that nigga no gift basket. Hell no. Nah. The last one, All the right, last, last question. one. This one is 4,000, this is for another 1,000. What side dish? Oh, Lord, have mercy. Is that bad? What side dish? Did Ocho say he would eat out of a woman's backside? I said that? Yeah, you said that. Um. <laughs> oh. Right there, wave, waving your hand. Her right here? Yeah, like you stuck on the island. I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying to space it out. Back there, over here. Booty. <laughs> you got the mic. Hey, you. Hey, you from the crib? What's, what's boy, you rich, boy. What's your answer? You from the crib? He said booty. The, no. <laughs> With macaroni and cheese. With macaroni and cheese. Right I don't even know what I said. With macaroni and cheese. Oh yeah, that. Hey, hey, honey, uh, you wrong. You were wrong. Right. Yeah, we gotta you take it. Gotta go somewhere else. Home team, home team, home team. Boy, boy, you slick, boy. Boy, you, you, hey, you slicker than a can of oil, boy. Yeah. yeah. Go ahead, take, he good. He got it. Coleslaw, he right, he, he right, right, he right. He right. It was Coleslaw, it was Coleslaw. Hey, what you got, cash out? Yeah, all right, shit. Well, what you got? What, what'd you say, what'd you say? Okay. We got one more gift basket, so we're going to... All right, you okay. do it. You what's, the, what's, the, what's, the, what's the question? What's the question? Ash, we got to give one more question because we still got a gift basket. Huh? I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. I want me a little money early. I'm good. Ash, I need one more question, Ash. Okay, my bad, my bad. Okay. The last one. What airline does Ocho fly to save money? <laughs> hold on, hold on. Take the mic right here. You. Ocho flies spirit. That is correct. Show do. Show do. And all y'all need to get on it too. We want to thank everybody for joining us in the chat. Thank everybody for showing up. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Hold on, hold on just a second. If you have meet and greet passes, please line up at the check-in table at the front entrance. You will need to show your meet and greet pass to the check-in team, then you can take a picture with myself and Ocho. But please make sure you wait in line and I'll show and show your meet and greet pass. I repeat, go to the area at the front, at the check-in table, Present your meet and greet pass to the check-in team, and Ocho and I will meet you out there, and we're going to take pictures together. Thank you again for coming out. Thank you, chat. Thank you so much for supporting Nightcap. See you.